All right, guys. Three, two, one. Welcome to Xbox Voice of the Xbox Community. This is episode 92. That's right. We've reached 92 episodes finally. On our way to 100 episodes so we can quit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But we're done, guys. Don't quit. Don't quit. I just started. What? The final episode. Oh, my goodness. Next week. Is Xbox Uncut affiliated with Microsoft? No, we are not. We do not take money from Microsoft. We're just a fan site. But we would if they offered it. I, I would, I'm a willing <laughs> shill, but they won't pay me. It's we weird. wish. I pay them to be affiliated. How about that? Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, oh, my God. Now I'm lost where I'm at. All right. Uh, it was episode 100. No, this 92. is episode 92. We're on our way to 100. <laughs> and let's... Of course, this is me, your host, Dustin. I'm Hello, surrounded Justin. by a bunch of crazy-ass people this week. I have the one and only Vern. Hello, my name is Vernon. Are you? Really? <laughs> yes. I'm the golden throat. <laughs> the golden throat. You don't even golden ask throat. me how I am. You are, Hey, how's it going, Vern? Just Vern, say. you're here every week. Everybody knows how you're doing. Just say, hey, but how's, you know your, how's, how's your let's day? Back up. Where's the romance? Let's, let's pause the podcast. It's a let's little thing. Let's, 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 let's pause it. So uh, <laughs> how are you doing, Vern? I'm good. How are you, Dustin? I am great. I'm doing You see how wonderful. easy that is? I feel so much better. I feel like you care about me now. I do care. I care to start and get through the rest of the fucking panels. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We also have Steve Rules. Welcome to the show, Steve. Hey guys, I, I I'm fine as well. Just so I get out of there. Big, Steve, big... tell me about your day. <laughs> uh, it's, 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 I've not been awake that long. By the time we finish this show, I'm not even joking. It will be light outside. Yeah. How is it in the wow. country of Europe? Uh, <laughs> oh, it, was, it was wet today. Lots of lots of rain. That's all of Europe. Yes. What, what's oh. the city of England? The entire like? country. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not very exciting to be honest. No. Uh, let's let's move on to somebody more exciting. We had uh, I, I could I can't make the joke. Uh, Michael, <laughs> welcome to the show, Michael. Hey, folks. Uh, yeah, you prick. All right, <laughs> but I love on. you too, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> what is what, seriously? What's up? What's going on? Why why you why you why you, why are you shitting on me today? What's up? What's Just wait. The, the shitting. Shows, we got more. We got more time to go on. Shitting on your dick is like what that, you that's want. Your thing. It's, <laughs> it's something about wow. fucking a duck too i know that yeah. is part of it it's I true it's you say that all the time yeah. you ask me to do that every single podcast and you know i i don't think it's time yet just don't no. do it on camera you know yeah. it, it might be against terms of you know it probably is against TLC. All that. yeah yeah all right let's let's move on to our final panelist the one and only the craziest man alive on twitter <laughs> tim dog What's up, guys? I'm glad Southbound came on the show. He's yeah, big, I completely uh, fucked over Southbound. Uh, yeah, thanks. The last <laughs> final. I just don't worry about me, bro. It's, no, yes, no. He's, he's not, not, he's not, not a member. Sec it's secret weapon right there. Oh, Southbound. Yeah. We did that on purpose. No, it's 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 a pleasure to have him. He's a really big uh, Xbox fan on Twitter. And uh, happy about that. Also happy about the Xbox win today. I'm very surprised a little, but uh, that's all. Happy. But before we go down the Xbox trail, how was your day, Tim? <laughs> uh, very busy. We don't, we don't know. Uh, we can't see you, bro. Uh, I'm very busy. I just I, honestly, I got in the house at six forty-seven, and I just like went downstairs and sat on the couch, just exhausted, and then just turned on the computer. I'm just not in a yeah. position to be in the camera right now, but next yeah. week I will be. You're like, I gotta look good for my gamer boy. I'm boyfriend. still wearing my work shirt, just so you know. He's, Take it he's off. just finished I'll all see. the campaigning outside GameStop to get all the, the sales for May and stuff. So. I think, exactly. I, I April, don't believe April this. Works. Yeah, we don't see your Xbox t-shirt, bro. Look, all I know is I gotta, Tim I, is just jealous of Steve being nude during the podcast and, you know. <laughs> and no one knowing. Yeah. Shake it. Yeah, my wife says I can't wear the Xbox shirt. By the way, uh, to E3, she told me that. But uh, what? I, I, uh, yeah, she's like that shirt's horrible. She's like it's it's all it is it is like faded out, and she's like it doesn't even fit you right. And I'm like that means I don't you need know. a new one. Yeah, and, uh, I either got to buy a new one or you know buy a Halo out, T-shirt so. or, or you know what? Just tweet it out. I'm, I'm sure you'll get a hookup. You know. No, I, I don't get, even want. It's, I want. It's be, it's I want to wear that one, but. 
But I don't want it to. I don't want to look like a freaking mess. You know what I mean? Hey, so. honestly, you'd probably actually look dressed up if you've been to E3. You would know. I know. Uh, I know. Yeah, I could, some I, of the hygiene is not there. <laughs> just non-existent. Pretty. Uh, go, go in a suit. <laughs> oh no! All right, it, let's, it's let's, too hot well, he's not trying to sell stuff, you know, trying to get phones collected or something. But <laughs> let's talk to our special guest, Southbound. Welcome to the show, Southbound. Thanks for coming. Thank you, show. fellas, for having me. Appreciate it. It's a big honor, you know. An honor. An honor. Following, following, following you guys on Twitter, you know, DMing and stuff like that, you know, favoring your posts. There, you know, it's a beautiful thing. Thank you, guys. Now I gotta admit. The reason me and Southbound are such good friends is when the Batman v Superman trailer hit, I literally chatted with this man for like six hours. Yes, freaking yes, the fuck okay. out. <laughs> talking about everything comic book related and a little video game stuff, just a little bit. It was but mostly uh, comics, and that's how it all kicked off. It was actually a different, you know, different flavor. Yeah. So so it tasted like ink and dots. Yes, it did. Kryptonite. Kryptonite. <laughs> I I had all these amazing things I wanted to read from Double Double Limey, but now they're all <laughs> muted. They're all gone. <laughs> is the Xbox One the last console ever? Yes, it is. Is will there be an Xbox Two? You go back to the last question. Why do people like Xbox more than PlayStation? Because it's black. Is Xbox <laughs> Uncut affiliated with Microsoft? No. Uh, is COD coming out on the Xbox One exclusive DLC? I'm going to say it's going to be Wii U exclusive. But, uh... There, Wait, there's why would all, the message all knows. Nobody knows just yet. Microsoft <laughs> with the cash sign for the S is less than Sony with the cent sign? Yeah. Okay. I, I, maybe. I, he, he was, do, don't make dollars, don't make sense. He was, he was writing some weird stuff, so I just timed him out to give him a break. He'll be back. Thank you, Double I, I hope you tune back in <laughs> that we can hear all of my responses. All, all I see is message deleted. <laughs> message deleted. If you hit it, it'll show it. Well, it does for me. <laughs> That's uh, what I'd I like told to thank her. everybody in the chat room. Please, I'm going to read your shit. We, we you, do. If you, uh, if you tweet, not tweet, we, but uh, we message respond us. Respond everything. Ertang. Hello, Dolphin. Ertang. Aww, we love Dolphin. Yeah, or Dolphin. Dolphin, I, I think, it, I, I, to me, it's like the Rocky movies. I'm thinking he's Dolph Lundgren. I will break you. I will break you. I His break love you. for Crackdown knows no bounds. Yeah. That's true. Who doesn't want more Crackdown, to be That's honest? True. He's Orbs. Orbs. I've seen All that All right, name. let's see if there's Prophesize here, Sunderland, One Saint, Zorbs. Double Limey still here. Well, he's back, I guess. Dolphin and... He had an internet outage. All right. Uh, I heard we got a letter. We got a letter? I, got, I heard. I have a letter. Do you it's have a letter? L. Is it from I you? do. It's from, it's from my buddy Paul, Obi Wang. He's writing <laughs> back again. He says, hey, guys, Paul, Obi Wang, 1975, again. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. How are you doing? Roll. Thanks for answering my questions and giving me your thoughts on E3 and HoloLens. I have now caught up. Great. He says, I've, oh, oh, sorry. I've now caught up with the shows on YouTube, so thanks for that. Good to finally put faces to voices. Fallout 4 confirmation leaked. No real surprise. What do we want from the next game? Will Vats feature? Will there be continuation from Fallout 3? Or is this going to be a new story? I guess by the time you air this, we will all be playing Witcher 3. Is it everything we expected? Personally, I can't wait to play. I'm probably playing it now. Wow, this dude's in the future. That's great. I read that the Xbox One version dynamically switches between 900 and 1080p. A good move by the developers? Question mark. Fantastic show, guys. Keep up the hard work, and I look forward to your next show. Take it easy. Regards, Paul. Well, Thanks for first writing, of all, I will take it easy. Now, Paul, I, 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 I think I love take you, man. Easy. That was beautiful. Mm -hmm. God. Rather Can eloquent. We... Look, yes. everything yes. is beautiful and eloquent coming from the golden throat. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's true. That's true, guys. Uh, true. So Fallout 4, probably the first thing we should start with. And it was, I mean, like, I, is that was that one of those discussion stories we had about the Guillermo del Toro thing? Yes, no, was it? 
No, I don't think we mentioned that. They're, they're so, putting a trailer together, right? So, so basically, Guillermo del Toro's production company um, had a there was there was a guy who worked on it as like a CG artist or something like that. Uh, on LinkedIn, it wrapped up his time on a on what was called a Fallout Four cinematic trailer in March, which is about the time you finish the work on that sort of stuff, so you can check it over, see if anything needs to be added or changed, and then you release it um, around time for E3. And, you know, with Bethesda having their own press conference, there's a load of details put together that say, yeah, it's going to happen. Um, is going to be this year? Who knows? But I'm personally super excited because I love Fallout 3 in New Vegas. I know. Uh, yeah, you guys know. Um, <laughs> um, my biggest hope, it think, like, that's... Yes, please bring yeah. it back. It was a great system. They have to. That that would like change the game. That was so mm-hmm. revolutionary. Well, that's I, what differentiates it from like the Elder Scrolls as far as combat and stuff. Mm-hmm. So that's important. Well, it, it it put the shooter aspect into you yeah, know, RPG, exactly. and that's that's what drew me into it because I'm not an RPG player. Yeah. But the well, that's just you know those those headshots. Ching, I, I look at it differently because that was how the original Fallout played. Was yeah. with action points that so that put the RPG into the shooter, not the other way around. See, I never played that, so I it was all new to me. And I think Fallout Three was the first game that I put over a hundred hours into that wasn't a Call of Duty or Ghost Recon, something like that. Mm-hmm. But you know that that's pri- to his to his point about asking about that system. Yes, other stuff I want no multiplayer at all. You don't want co op? Nope. Nope. Single player experience all the way because the game works better when you when you can pause it, right? To get stim packs yeah, and stuff like that. You got followers and stuff like that. You would think a, a helper co op would. I mean, somebody say you're playing and you're at a certain point, you could just say, "Hey, shoot me an invite, and I'll help you kill out you know all these ogres or something like that." Maybe, but I, I don't really don't care about having it, and it can mess with the combat. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 it's it would change the player combat. experience. I, I see that. both sides to it. I uh-huh. mean, I I kind of like to have co-op, but I'm a big co-op player, anyways. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And well, that's yep. why you see companies like BioWare adding multiplayer modes to their games instead of putting multiplayer into the single player campaign, because then they could have their that, own thing going. But do you on. think that um, multiplayer in Dragon Age killed it? The multiplayer isn't in the single player campaign in Dragon Age. It's a completely separate component. Really? Yeah, it's a completely separate component, just I, like I Mass Effect it, Three so. is. Yeah, yeah. So that's how they do it in that game. So it, if they if were going you, to do multiplayer, I would imagine it'd be something like that. It'd be a, it'd be like yeah. a separate co-op story or like a death match mm-hmm. where you take your character into that. Oh, right. I, I've always I've always liked to see a multiplayer game where you take your character into the multiplayer with all the advantages and disadvantages that they have. Destiny got close, didn't do it well enough, in my opinion. Um, Oh, well, let's that, not start talking about Destiny. Oh, well, we're going to talk about that, it. That's the me. bane of my existence right now. My wife's ready to divorce me over that damn game. <laughs> <laughs> wow, um, we have two hardcore Destiny players in the same room. Um, yes. But um, the other thing is location, <laughs> right? Destiny Fall- to talk will be limited to two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, yes. Uh, I, I can go on link uh, on that one. That looks like um, it'll be an hour. It will be, it will be nowhere close <laughs> after an hour. It's a love-hate relationship. That's, yeah. I saw is. Mike's face when, when you said the destiny. is like competition right now. <laughs> it's, um, it's on. Fault is defined by its location, right? Fault New Vegas. It was named after the place it was set. You know, Fault 3 had this infamous, you know, shot of the Washington Monument and, and Lincoln Memorial and all this sort of stuff that really just makes it stand out. And rumor was Boston possible, considering the that in Fall, or something like that. I, I believe I read in Fall, Fall Three. They talked about this thing called the um, shit. I was, talking, I was thinking about it this morning. The Institute, the Institute, wasn't it? It's not the Institute. It's something similar to it. It's not the Enclave. That's the bad guys. Commonwealth. That's what it is. It's Commonwealth. Um, that's where Commonwealth is. So maybe they want to explore that more. I personally want to see Florida because mutant crocodiles just sound scary as shit. Um, but that's just me. So yeah. it, it seems like all points say it's going to be Boston. Uh, every leak and everything, it, it seems like Boston's going to be it. Mm-hmm. Which, as far I'm as not mad at comes, that at all. As far as when it comes out, the rumor was that it was targeted for this year, and now it's being pushed back to early 2016. 2016. There, there's no way. There's no way yeah. it's going to come out this year. 
which no, is I'm, fine. I'm all in on 2015. All in. You know what? Yeah, I'm fine I, with. I'm I'm, not fine. I'm fine with it being next year. There are so many games that are coming out in early 2016 anyway. Because how many games have been fucking delayed? It's nuts. It's yeah, just, right. Just Ratchet so and Clank is the latest one. Division. No, but I think things are getting delayed Division, yeah. to, not because that they're not ready, but just to clear the way anyway, since it's such a busy right. holiday. I, I like I like the games that come out early March or you know April, you know, because yeah. it seems like it's a clear path for me to play for a couple months and not be hindered by it. Damn, I just got this game. Now, I, you know, how am I going to split my time? Right. We need some July release. It seems like it's going to be a real big quarter one, quarter two for next year with a lot of games from both Sony and Microsoft. A lot like this year was, actually. This year had a lot of good games early on. Except Microsoft are actually going to turn up this time. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Microsoft we'll probably see Quantum week. Break or something like yeah. that. Scalebound, they maybe, might Maybe Scalebound, yeah. Push it into like to July area, August. Eh, we'll find out soon enough. I'm sure. excited either way. All right, well, it's great to be Xbox. Yeah. Agreed. Thank you for writing in OB no, Wang. We, we didn't answer questions. We didn't answer. What was the other oh, question? Oh, the dynamic, the dynamic, dynamic resolution. Which yeah, is, I want to talk oh, about. Oh, that. that's right. That's part of the news this week. So I guess yeah. we can talk about it now. Huh? Yeah, let's we'll go ahead and get into it. Let's talk about resolutions that just change all the way from 900 to 1080. Don't expect it to happen with a lot of developers. I'll tell you that much. It's just that I think it's the prowess of the developer that's actually <laughs> it's, making it happen. Yeah, it, it was it, uh, unprecedented access, you know. And then with the, well, it, it's the I th- one of the first cases of this was back with uh, Wipeout HD for PlayStation Three. It did something like this, and then um, who was it? It Software's uh, engine has done Rage, did the same uh, thing with uh, exactly. with Rage. With Rage, yeah. And then they did it again in Wolfenstein. And then we also saw it in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare for Xbox One. And now we're seeing it again with uh, The Witcher. So that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm wondering why they're not doing it on the PS4 as well, unless it's something that's specific for Xbox One because of the three display planes on mm-hmm. the console. Um but I mean, it was done on. Was it done on Wolfenstein for PS4 as well? Uh, I don't know. Dynamic, or was that 1080p the whole time? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it was done on Wolfenstein. I, it's, uh, sorry to interrupt, but I think in this case, uh, for some reason, knowing the developer, I, I'm pretty sure it's, this is probably the most sophisticated type dynamic scaling that you're going to get. So it's going to be real interesting uh, digital Well, yeah, effect. because it's not it's not just going on one way of the resolution. It's both. Because um, I think it was, what, like the... the hor- No, the... Was the vertical or the horizontal that was changing on a... On a yeah. Was changing on Wolfenstein and the others, I think. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. not exactly sure myself, but I just know that... Wolfenstein was pretty. I haven't played the new the new game, the standalone, but uh, I'm 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 going to pretty soon. But this is something we're seeing a lot more on Xbox One, um, it's which pretty is pretty good. good. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, now call me a, a an Xbox, but I don't see the difference between 900 and 1080. I and I'm not just drinking the Kool Aid. I'm I'm kind of blind. I should be wearing my glasses. Well, there's there's a lot of people really that really can't, can't see can't much tell. of a difference. Well, um, there's there's a bunch of little factors that go into it. Like if you have too small of a TV, it's not going to be a big factor, especially if you sit far back. Sit far away. Yeah. Um, like I personally, I have a 55 inch TV, and I'm sitting. I sit about eight feet back. I can see it. Yeah, I, I'm in a similar. Situation. But yeah, if I was good. like, I, 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 I had, had a 50 inch in, in, the, in the man cave, and yeah. I I can't. You know, it depends on how sensitive you are to it, yeah. too. Some people are just more sensitive to it. Um, I still think 900p looks good. I'm not yeah. going to complain about it, but it's I can definitely tell the difference in part. Right, the console has a good scaler in it, yeah. so yeah. that it can it can affect all. It can really do good, do some good work in making that appear less likely. Now, the thing is, like I'm sitting about a foot and a half from my monitor, and it's 27 inches, so that's that's a pretty that's a pretty yeah. good um, thing. So I I can notice a difference with games yeah. but yeah, it doesn't bug me as much as it could yeah. with some pe- for some people but yeah we should have seen this coming a long time ago i mean we, i guess we kind of did we talked about it on a previous podcast because because i remember um when they announced the hardware and were ex- 
or at least I think it was the Eurogame article, Eurogame article on on Digital Foundry, where they were really digging into the hardware. They explained how it has the three display planes, so they're able to use one for the UI, a second one for, I'm sorry, one for the the main like console UI, a second for the games HUD, and a third for the actual uh, image. And they said they could change the resolution on a per frame basis. So and I heard it was this no is hit. something that's in the hardware. Right, and they said no, no hit on the uh, no hit on the um, right. There's no hit on it, so basically it's like for free. Exactly, you know, yeah. exactly. So that's a cool feature. Hopefully, it's something that's going to be built into the dev tools, or it is in it right now. I don't know. That'd be great to see because it'd be nice for all developers to have that I, option without. Well, I would like to see building it into their engine specifically because, like, if let's say. Say a game can run at 1080p 99% of the time. If it meant keeping the frame rate up just 1% exactly. of the time, just that's to the, bring it to me, 900p, that's the biggest thing just, for me just, is just so I can rate. see it. Like, I, I would love that in all games. I really would. Do you think we'll see that in Forza 6? No. No. Okay. Considering the game was already 1080p? Yeah. Well, no. So I don't see it. this. No, six, but, yeah, so 6 hasn't been announced yet. So. Well, it's been announced, but it hasn't been shown. Right, it hasn't been shown. It's been announced. No, 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 no. They, no, no. they didn't it. announce the resolution for Forza. No, no, yeah, I know. I'm just saying. It has been announced, just not the resolution. Yeah. Uh, but I, I can pretty much guarantee you it's going to be 1080 60. Cause it's yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's their target. Yeah. On, on the scaling, though, um, I actually was, uh, I can't say his name, but I was talking to a developer about it in DMs, and he told me it's, not, it's very hard to do. It's not. It's not. It's, it's not something easy to code for. It takes, you know, it takes a really good developer to do it. To you know, and CD Projekt. If you know CD Projekt, you know they they call them wizards. So you know, all devs are not created equal. So I don't think this is going to be something that you see. You know, uh, a, a new trend. It, it's clearly dependent on dev prowess and. How, it's how probably built into an engine too. I'd imagine. Yeah, huh? you know. No, but if, not... if it's something Microsoft can help enable, and well, engines, you know, like I think it could be a well, bigger thing. I wonder if we see something like this with Unreal Engine Four, because the whole idea behind that engine is that if developers make changes to it, it can become part of the engine in the future. So all it takes is one developer to come up with a feature like this in one of their games. Yeah, yeah, and then it could maybe be available to other developers. So that that's what gets me thinking. Maybe we'll see that in in UE4. There you go, Dave. Get on that. But Digital Foundry, uh, Zorbs posted it. The PS4 version of Wolfenstein does have a dynamic resolution. It does. Okay, so yeah. it's built into the into yeah. Tech then. Yeah. Which yeah. we thought already because of the rage, you know. Yeah. And it's such I mean, a big, huge game, right? I mean, it's got to do something. No, what but I, saying, I, Steve? It's, it's a way to go. I, I was just going to say, I think if some developers aren't prepared to do this sort of dynamic resolution, I think we'll see a lot of them just do what Halo 2 Anniversary and like Far Cry 4 did, which is right. where they just had the, the, the 1080 horizontal, but mm -hmm. was it one three hundred going up, so that yeah, might be like thirteen sixty eight or thirteen something, yeah, yeah, or, or twelve or whatever. But that seems to generate a better image quality than just having um, nine hundred p. Right, it's not upscaled. Nope. That's what I heard. It might depend yeah. on the type of game too. Like if you're yeah. looking more to the left or right in a game, like you would in a first person shooter, maybe it makes more sense. I don't know. Depends on artwork, probably, yeah. and it probably also depends on. Um, the yeah, form of anti-aliasing that they're using. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of factors. There's I guess. a million little tiny things. But anyway, it's really difference. cool, and the game looks good. There's some uh, pretty higher quality footage on gamer side that looked great. So, yeah, it looks awesome. I mean, yeah, it's the, the, it's gotten that, reviewed incredibly well already. Yeah, it's a 92 on Metacritic right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I just say. Oh, any, any more? No. Steve oh, says. Steve was saying something. I just hope that the like frame rate is more important to me than resolution. I'm not, you know, I you know I hate the whole 60 FPS and it's not. And if it, you know if the re, if the resolution needs to be 900p to get it a smooth 30, then I'd rather just did that. So I just hope the frame rate's up to scratch in it. There were some reported issues on PS4, but they said they were fixed in the day one patch. But nobody reviewed the Xbox One version, so I don't quite know. There's video online right now. There's like 50 minutes of video from the beginning of the game, and it looks solid. Yeah. So I, I saw some people who mentioned minutes, stuff. That's through, probably just like a, a teaser. 
<laughs> that that's with so huge. that's with the uh, with the new patch too. So it looks oh. good. Okay. Yeah, this game's big. It's didn't they say something like thirty percent larger than Skyrim? Maybe. Yeah, so, I thought it was that is three times larger. Oh, okay. I thought it was thirty percent for the size of the map or something like that. I mean, it takes. But that was just the island. Hour. That was just the one island, though. That's thirty percent. The main zone, right? Yeah, and yeah. It's, it's and it's like it takes thirty minutes to go the entire the entire top to bottom. Yeah. On a mount. The time so. of day lighting looks amazing too. The, yeah. Um, yeah. It looks great. All right, guys. Let's move on. Thank you so much for writing in, Obi Wang. We appreciate mm-hmm. it. You're awesome. Your name made me laugh. Of course. Let's talk about the Xbox One May update. It comes wow. out. It has voice messages. Not everybody's in the preview program. That's why we're talking about it, people. I thought it was out already. No, it it's came out, well, yeah, it came it came out, out a couple since days ago. we... Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Last recorded. It's the last it came recorded. out like two days ago or something, yeah, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's news for this week. This week oh, okay. I thought, I, thought, I thought you said it comes out. Like it's you said out. it comes out, yeah. Yeah. I, I apologize. <laughs> But if wide you haven't out, gotten, turn on your really? Xbox. You know, yeah. I know you have it in the super low powered all the off mode because you're trying to save the uh, five dollars a, a month. year. Um, so we know you're all all playing Ouya games right now. Yes. So please go ahead, turn it on, download the Xbox update. It's actually really good. Voice chat, or I haven't really used any voice messaging since it came out but well I, you know what i've been nice in the preview too. program and so we got that that updated kind of early you know i'd say you know a few weeks ago a month ago or so and i could not get it to work for i don't know a couple weeks you know everybody was sending me messages and and i couldn't hear them i i, I could physically record them but i couldn't couldn't hear them or i couldn't hear the ones that were sending to me so now that the official update is out now it works flawless so good update yeah. i like it all right, Telltale, The Walking Dead Season 3 is not coming in 2015. No! Is anybody surprised? <laughs> no. no. Yeah, they, they have so much on their plate right now. Something is coming in 2015, though. We do know yes. that. And what was it, Five, 300 days, 500 days? Like, they've yeah. already said that the they DLC. were going to have uh, um, something in between the two seasons. What they so, call it that 1,000 days. Yeah, or whatever they want to call it. But they've already yeah. said they were going to have something between the two pieces of DLC. So it's not shocking that since that's not out yet, that we're not going to get the third season in the same year. But uh, I can't wait for 2016 because that means it's coming then. <laughs> I just finished season two over the weekend, or a couple of days after the last show. So, look, I'll gush and about I, that after the show. Oh, he liked it. I, uh, yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't want to start talking about that one either because that was so emotionally for me. Like, I never thought I could feel so much love for a fictional child. <laughs> oh, just exhausting. Yeah. Season, no, but you, you saw what I was saying all those times. Season two's writing is so much better than the first. Yeah, season. it is. Like all the all the presentations fell out. The performance I actually thought was worse, but and that yeah. irritated the shit out of me. But I'll, I'll let them off because it was good. It was really well, good. Well, as long though. as you'll let them off. <laughs> yeah. As long it's as you, gotta, you give them a pass, we're good. How, how gracious of me. Yeah, yeah. Look, <laughs> everything's, in, you know, all about Steve Rules. Everything. Everything. Steve Rules. Not Steve Rules. She just rules the show. You need Steve a page. <laughs> you need a page on your website called Steve's Rules, and you need you know to write them down. Oh. Go on. What, what grinds your gears? No, uh, no. Steve's Rules. Steve's oh, okay. Rules. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Flatline. Beep, beep. Oh, All, right. Right. All right. Let's talk about a game near and dear to every European man's heart. <laughs> FIFA 15 joins EA Access. That's right, people. You can get it now. So go ahead and download buy EA Access because. It's been a really uh, fucking good deal. I've probably put it in about 15 to 20 hours in that game already since it got released for free. <laughs> I, I don't know that. how anybody doesn't have EA access at this point. Because well, even I love if, it. Even you if know, you don't... And, and I pay it monthly. I, I don't care. I don't have to buy it. Wait, you're not doing it uh, yearly? No. Just lazy. Yeah. I just don't feel like changing the setting. Yeah, that, that's too many finger clicks. And when I, I mean, up front, man, it's 
thirty bucks for the whole year compared to yeah, what, five I know. bucks. I'm, I'm paying yeah. twice as much almost. Yeah. For that. But yes, yeah, FIFA 15. I, I I know we're going to talk about a lot of FIFA 15 at the end of during what you've been playing. I I sold my copy of FIFA 15 for more than any year's EA access cost, so that's almost like profit. Yeah. So how does it feel having the game back again, Steve? It, it just means I don't have to put the disc in anymore. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's a big benefit. It wasn't gone very long. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I sold it after it went on EA Access. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, I was, see? I was a bit confused. I was expecting it to like download a patch or something. But no, it just, just, just works. It just works. Yeah. Simple. Yeah, and I've and I seen some, uh, I don't know, Twitter or something. I don't know exactly where. But it, people were trading in their FIFA 15 and getting... Thirty dollars towards their EA access, so they're getting that game plus all their other things that are in the oh, vault yeah. for free. That's, that's fucked up. I didn't think of that. That's yeah. a good deal. So See? if you have the game already, you go trade in the GameStop, and you'll game you plus whatever else is in the vault. eleven games. That's a sick right. idea, and See? early access too. Yep. Over over Madden here. sixteen. Over here, the price on Amazon trading went from twenty-one pound to six in less than twenty-four hours. Oh, I bet! Oh, why? Wow! Why? Jesus! But so. you know what? That's what you get for if you snooze, you lose. You oh. Got to sell those games quick. Uh, what's the reason <laughs> why 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 this isn't uh, good? Because Sony knows best. Okay. Just... <laughs> Hashtag Sony knows best. Bishop uh, doesn't like it either, so. No, it's a terrible deal, and anybody that thinks of buying EA Access should be shot. What, what did they say? It wasn't worth it? Sony said there was no... It w- no value. Wasn't a good value. It wasn't value, a good value. Yeah. I got plenty of value. Look, mm-hmm. I haven't bought a sports game in a long time, and I still won't, thanks to EA Access. You guys are looking at the long game. Don't look at the long game. They're, Square uh, Enix is going to do this. Activision is going to do this. Uh, Ubisoft's going to do this. And you know why it's I'm going to subscribe them? to them all. Because <laughs> I, now honestly, EA... I don't see Activision doing it. Honestly, I know. the they thing wouldn't. is, is uh, EA is killing the uh, pre-owned market. It's like, no, fuck it. I'm not going to go and buy a used version of FIFA. I'll just wait for it on They're EA trying. Access. They're trying to kill it. They are talking about um, promoting it a lot more this summer, which leads me to believe that it's going to be announced for PS4 at E3. Well, no, but they talked about promoting it with Microsoft, which leads me to believe that Microsoft really? signed them into a long deal. Oh, I didn't know they said they were promoting it with yeah. Microsoft. Yeah, they, yeah. they said they were going to be they did. promoting it at E3. So they're yeah. probably, you know, for E3 to have some, you know, special game well, that's that a good... newer, not a, not a year old for, you know, the vault. That's a good catch then, because then they can start. If they are promoting it with Microsoft, they can put it on the box and say all of these free games, you know. Yeah. And a bet, exclusively on Xbox One. My my big thing is that I think that they'll they'll have a, a splash screen or something. Say EA, you know, games first on Xbox, and there will be a Star Wars Battlefront splash screen. <laughs> Even though EA has the deal with Sony for Battlefront. Yeah. I'm I'm 100 percent convinced that that. That uh, EA would have negotiated a deal that lets them do that. Yeah, it's not surprising though. <laughs> no question. Nope. All right, and- let's move along to something near and dear to Steve's heart more than probably anybody on this podcast. Even though I put thousands of hours in this game, Gears of War remastered leaked videos. Oh. People are being banned left and right. Mm-hmm. Good. Is permanently going away. I- I got the email from from VMC for it. Uh, you know the dumbest part about it. I don't know if you guys ever tested for that. They yes. watermark your screen, so your gamer tag is up on blast. Whatever game you're testing, they're gonna get. You know they they know who it is. So if you're gonna say, you know, what, I'm gonna Xbox record that, or you know, take a snapshot of my phone, or whatever it may be, you're gonna get caught. And it looks like the watermark's easy to take off, though, on this one compared no. to other games. Well, I don't know. I, I've, I've At least in Photoshop or something, you know. And it's blasted clear across the screen. Is it just in one? It's only in one spot across the screen. It's right, right, right in the middle. Yeah. It's, in, it's, it's not that hard to blur yeah. for this one. Yeah. The thing is, they did it for, was it Assassin's Creed or something, and it was like all over the screen. Right. right. But, I mean, I, I, I haven't played it, so I... 
I think pretty sure I could say what I want, but I mean, you know, the leaks are out there, the footage looks good, you know, and there were some comparisons between like the 360 version and it wasn't like a kind of small upgrade. It was a big upgrade. Like it looks, it does look like they've pretty much just sort of redone it. It's like they remastered it. <laughs> well, I think it, well, it seems like it looks a bit more than that. Well, like, I mean... Almost like a reimagining. But it, it looks good. I don't. I don't quite know. I, I do want all the rest of them though. Two, well, it was, three, wasn't the guy that, that leaked it that said it was all three games of the core trilogy, right? Um, all he knows say, the first game so far. I wouldn't be surprised if it was all three. I think they'll they'll avoid a master the collection whole. and they'll they'll stagger them over. Right. Games. They won't. Be, yeah. If they, if they do, they won't be all at once. It'll, you know, they'll give it to you, you know, one price, and you'll get all, all of them, Sweet. you know, eventually. Yeah. Because obviously, you did, you, why are you gonna get one when you want to, you know, refresh the story or get caught up on it? it yeah. Just makes sense. Wait, is this uh, on this Twitch screen? Is that actually the footage that came out? Yeah. Yeah. That's what Polygon leaked. Yeah, they, yeah, they put they, they on the uh, Xbox DVR. Somebody, uh, somebody put. Yeah, put yeah last night so. that came out. They got the guys who did it. They banned them. I don't know if you they're just they're offline. And, and that's stuff. another that's another issue. I'm sorry to cut you off, Tim. Um, it's all right. You know what? These guys, you know, everyone's like, oh, you know, why would they get, you know, bankrupt or something like that? It's like, hey, if you leak it, you know what you're doing. You sign an NDA. I don't give yes. a damn who you are. You sign an NDA. I'd rather have my Xbox brick than going being bankrupt. Going to jail or both. That's just me personally. I don't know about well, that's you guys. what they did, right? They break the console. I'm reading yeah. that. Uh, they ban their gamer tag. That's pretty they good. Break that's, it. They, honestly, they got it's off. It's the temporary <laughs> ban they're saying right yeah, now. Yeah, they got right? off. They got off. Right. I'm saying it's temporary. It was a slap with an undisclosed yeah. date for when it'll end. Microsoft decides. They yeah. could sue. They could sue the person because they do have their information. They probably well, have their credit card. Well, they DMC. Yeah, DMC no. will probably take action too, right? Well, well, can't show that. Yeah, can't show that. It, it, it was uh, passed on to the. Their legal See, team. you're showing you're showing some Nintendo footage. Yeah. No, you know, you know, the thing is, is that what what I think about this is that I put it up on my Twitter and I asked, uh, and about like 20 people answered. Uh, like 18 to two said we should people they should be legal charges against them. Um, well, I wouldn't go so far to for legal charges. But, you know, getting banned. I understand that. I, I feel bad, banned, too. You know what? Hey, you snooze, you lose. You messed up. You had a nice gift to be able to play a game, test it out early, and, and you screwed the pooch. Yep. Yeah, but the thing Plain is, is the, you, you're a tester or whatever. You, you test, right? Southbound, you're yeah, a tester? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. So you have to sometimes have an NDA. Now, a guy, right. like, a, a guy, time, like, a guy like you will keep his mouth shut. But the thing is, is that how are you going to deter... <laughs> how are you going to deter... Southbound tells me everything. Like, he's well, already playing you, Crackdown 4. Like, it's insane. But, I mean, to put it out there that egregiously is just... I, I hate to say it, you, you have to have some type of, you know... I mean, you have to have some type of, of, of deterrent, you know... I don't know what that could be. Maybe find um, money. You know, honestly, the the sign up process is so open, and I don't know how. There's no there's no kind of vetting system, you know, other than you sign an NDA, which is basically just typing your name and email. And Here's some. Well, if you're playing a game like, like Gears, you're you're really in, involved. I would think. I think they give a Gears game like you you have to take an extra NDA because that. I mean, that's people, a big that's a big title. Obviously, no, it's yeah. huge. So I mean, the or, thing is, is how do you just, how do you how do you prevent this from happening? Because to me, I think it's fucked can't. up. You can't prevent you, from happening. You, you, you and, don't and test the, externally the if you want to prevent it. The problem but, but is, uh, you know, testing a game like that, they they want so many people testing it, so there's no bu bugs or glitches or anything like that. So they're they're screwed. I don't know how else they can you know lock it down a little bit better without everybody knowing about it. What were you gonna say, Steve? Well, they I do feel that they brought the leak on themselves by not announcing it. Yeah. Like, I don't, perhaps it won't be a popular view, but at the end of the day, they had to have known that people were going to be, you know, hyped as shit 
that they're playing Gears of War on Xbox One and they were going to leak it. They had to. I find it difficult to believe that they did not know that was going to happen. I mean, and, and it, ultimately, thing, I don't, it, oh, go ahead. it it would have been, it would have been it wouldn't have been such a big deal if they if they'd announced it. They're showing it off so people knew what it looked like because ultimately people just want to see what it looks like and people want to show what it looks like. So if they'd already seen it, then, then nobody'd care. So. Yeah. Not that people the, should break NDAs it, or anything, but it, it's a hard process because, for instance, like your your Xbox profile, you have to go offline, and then you you know what I mean to sign in to play this particular game, this title. It, it it's painstakingly a process to you know to hide what you're doing. It, uh, Microsoft uh, responded to everything. Actually, they just responded. I'm reading a GameStop article. They said, "quote uh, well quote to be clear." If a console is suspended from Xbox Live for a violation of the terms of terms of use, it can still be used offline. So, so oh, so you, yeah, they, Microsoft, Microsoft enforcement get, is still well. You won't get no achievements. So, no, but Microsoft's yeah, come out multiple times saying that they'll ban the console. They'll stop you from ever being able to connect to Xbox Live. But all the games from the store will still work, and yeah, you'll just like have access, but you won't be able to touch anything. Yeah, just like 360. So they're not breaking the console. They're just stopping you from going online for, with it. Well, okay. I think the whole breaking, you know, quote unquote, is a little bit much. You know, that's what just lack for a better word. I think that's what everybody's using. But if you can't go online, obviously, it, kind of it's kind of breaking itself. Yeah. The, yeah. The, yeah. the other thing about it that? is that this is meant to scare the people into not doing it in the first place. Yeah. So. The, the first and, you people know, to mess up, they have to be the example. So other people are just yep. like, oh, I ain't messing around. Because yep. some people think, yep. oh, a little NDA just from an email. Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, ain't gonna happen. Everything. Oh. My, my, my NDAs with, that I have with Epic have been through emails. But I'm not saying shit about right. anything that I've seen from Epic. And, Granted, and you shouldn't. You shouldn't. And I, it's, like, it's like I've signed a physical NDA when it comes to Ubisoft. But again, you know, that's two Didn't years. you say they're going to a browser-based launcher? Just like Battlefield. For, uh, all no. Epic games. No, no they're, they're, they have they have an Epic Games launcher, and this is an own thing. You no, I was just any... being an ass for their games, just yeah. being all browser based. <sighs> all right, can we uh, can we move along? Move on. Yeah. Move along. All right, let's, let's go right back to do penguins have knees from glitch mode. The answer is yes, sir. They do have knees. That's how they kneel down and sit on their eggs. If they weren't, they couldn't actually you know sit down on the eggs. Jet they fuel fall. can't melt steel beams. Yeah. But they do have knees. They just wobble to save energy and heat. And next week on the Neo Geo. <laughs> Look, I answered the chat. If the chat asks ask a question, I'll answer it. I looked that up. I had to find out. I was curious. Yeah, another comment. I love this guy's beast, New York beast. accent. He's talking about... Uh, talking about Tim. He's talking yeah, about Steve, me. right? Asking you <laughs> shower it's Steve. Be he's, Tim. He said forget comment. about it. <laughs> He likes the UK in uh, Steve. Yeah, that's it. Everybody does, aren't you? Know, I'm the voice of a, a nation, a continent. He's the, you're the voice of a generation. <laughs> Bloody great, mate. <laughs> you're the voice of a particular part of the of the of the English continent where everyone has a different accent every five minutes. <laughs> you go to a different village, yeah. it's not completely different. Yeah, it's just like the, the, it's like the US. US. Mm-hmm. Well, at least the U.S. is far enough stretched out. It's like, yeah, I had to go about 100 miles that way, and the accents really changed. U.K., yeah. like, I fucking fell down a cliff, and the guy came up to me. I couldn't understand what he was saying. Yeah, but there's huge variations really close to each other, especially, like, in Louisiana. Yeah. You go a little north, you're in, like, Cajun country, and then you go a little more north, it's and you're really... in, you're in the south, yeah. And then yep. you stay south, like, and then you're in New Orleans, which is completely different. Sounds more like Brooklyn. So, yeah, it's crazy down there as far as how many different accents. Even in the New Orleans metropolitan area, there's like four yeah. accents. That's crazy. You got them rednecks down there. What's the I'll thing? Be. Don't have rednecks. We got everything but. It's weird. Our <laughs> Konami CEO mobile is where the future of gaming lies. I don't uh, agree with that. They, they I agree. Dead. For Konami, the future of gaming is for in Konami. mobile. <laughs> for Konami, for Konami, it's their future. Yes, mobile's huge. Nobody's not saying that. But as of right now, I hate to tell people that think mobile's the biggest market in the world. 
the big AAA games are still making more money than mobile games are. On the whole. Mm-hmm. But mobile will eventually take over everything. But at the end of the day, are you going to stop selling games that sell 20 million copies just because mobile can sell you more? Yes, for them. No, for Konami, yes, but not like... They're just There's saying that because be Ubisoft cool isn't going to do this. No, yeah. Yeah. Ubisoft's yeah. going to be like, we could do both. We can still sell to a huge audience here and a huge audience there. Like, they're not going to just say, well, fuck consoles. We're done. That's it. Let's go make Candy Crush 4 or whatever. It's <laughs> like it's... A Candy Crush clone. Yeah. Well, there's obviously been, I think, a lot of it is to do with the fact that Kojima and Kojima Productions were sort of in charge of most things like even like Castlevania which they did with Mercury Steam Kojima was a producer on the first one and, and gave them tips and stuff and it seems that you know there's been a as we talked about before a big fallout between the CEO and Kojima which is sort of where all this has happened but I wonder what the future is for for the Metal Gear Solid franchise well Metal Not Gear good. it's on iPhone and Not iOS good. Uh, it's on iPhone well, cause, well they good. said they were hiring for the next one I mean, well, obviously, it probably just think isn't about a game good, but... that is a Metal Gear Solid game, Steve. Just envision this for a minute. Where all the game is is you're in the communicator scanning channels in Metal Gear. That's the future of the Metal Gear Solid franchise. Just shoot me now. You're just going to be sitting there, and then eventually, you know, you'll hit one, and you'll just hear, Snake, 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 and that, that, that'll be it. <laughs> Colonel, why haven't you killed me yet? <laughs> Well, he I, did die I at the end of Metal Gear Solid 4, so... Uh, I would. Yeah. But, uh, you know what? Um, I might be roasted for this, but I never even finished a Metal Gear game. I never even played more than five minutes of one. Well, I, I hate Metal Gear. Gear. I'm not a Metal Gear fan either. Metal Gear Solid. I'm not a big fan of the stealth genre. Me either. Well, I, I, I want to run wait, through wait and shoot wait a my man. Be I, I hate stealth. Let's Down back, with stealth. Let's back stuff up here real quick. Metal Gear stopped being a stealth game once Splinter Cell came out because then everybody went, went, oh, that's what a stealth game is. Because Metal Gear has never been a stealth game. But that's what I loved about Assassin's <laughs> Creed. You didn't have to be stealthy. Oh, no, I you didn't have to be, You didn't have to be stealthy in Metal Gear either. No, but oh, like really? Metal Gear's stealth well, has always been really half-baked at most. And really? Like, have you played Metal Gear Solid 3 Have or you 4? ever played Splinter Cell where you have to actually be mm. in a shadow? Well, no, three was actually required was, a lot of stealth. Yeah, it was very, very. Well, paced. one and two were different. Three was the first one that really required a lot of stealth, and I think that's where it lost some of its fans because of that. Honestly, yeah. well, they but started trying to knock off selling. Splinter Cell. So three didn't try to knock off Splinter Cell. It had Everybody its own tried to style off Splinter Cell because it was all about like camouflage and high yeah, so grass was right. and survival. I, I did play those. That, that that was that was a good series. I don't know what happened to the last one, but. Uh, I like the last Splinter Cell game. Yeah, yeah, I heard the last one was good. Yeah, Black 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 I played like Black 10 Black minutes Black of it and eh, back to the backlog. I played with all like all that with Eric on co-op. It was fucking great. But I, I, think, I think we're very safe to say that this is, you know, just another case of the Japanese gaming companies recognizing where they can make more money versus what will appease everyone outside of Japan as the very, you know ethnocentric world that japan is right they don't really give a shit about outside of the the outside of japan unless there are specific companies like platinum or from software right those those two companies really no but that's have, because they're not making money outside of japan have, anyway. have games Cap- that have connected capcom and, too uh, capcom yes no they really um, they made a real go for the u.s market like with did, lost planet and, and i Dead think that's Rising. what yeah, I think that's what got them in trouble, honestly. Same thing with Square Enix. They, Well, Square, should I say, not the Enix part. Um, well, it's the same thing that happened with all of them, like particularly last gen when it got worse, mm-hmm. because they all went after the American market, yep. and they all absolutely failed, Bomb. because that's not yeah. what they use it. I mean, Capcom did well with Dead Rising and Lost Planet, but they still somehow managed to completely fuck up Lost Planet. I don't... Yep. I don't even know. They how. almost yeah, messed up Dead Rising as well because Dead Rising Two wasn't as big of a success as they wanted it to be. And the, almost the DLC, happen. the um, what was it? The little expansion was better than the main game. The 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 pre-release yes. standalone. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Um, but this is you know it's Konami, 
saying, oh, we can make more money off Pachinko and off of mobile versions of games, which at, at this point makes me just want Konami to sell off mainline video game production rights to anybody, like literally anybody but themselves. Because leaving Metal Gear to die like this on mobile is, it's not what Metal Gear fans want. They, they deserve better because the, the series has been built that way. Same thing with Castlevania. Same thing with Contra. You know, all, all, all these games just deserve better attention than they're going right. to get from being on mobile. Well, I, I think uh, the quote unquote uh, old guard, Konami, Capcom, I think they're at a stalemate. They don't know what to do. Yeah, they, they have they have such a sense of pride internally. Right. You know, we must produce for Japan. But, you know, they some of them recognize it's pretty successful to release, release games in America that have a bit of a Western appeal to it. Right. But, you know, there are some, there's some, we in the West here, you know, we kind of like the weird Japanese shit. Because otherwise you wouldn't get stuff like Psycho Mantis. You know, like the, the Metal Gear Solid 1 boss. Um, so we're in a really weird stalemate that has always existed in gaming where you try to produce too much for one market, you lose the other market back and forth. And right, because there's two totally different tastes with, with the American and Japanese taste, you know, mm -hmm. preference. And, 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 and it's, it's a weird thing because, you know, not many Western games hit it off in Japan. You know, they, no. have, they, they have their dedicated fan bases, certainly. Everywhere has that. But it's nowhere near as strong there because, of, because uh, not xenophobia, but, but certainly a pride in, in Homeland and the products that get made there. It's true. So, We're more accepting of their stuff than they are of ours. Mm-hmm. And, but the thing is, though, the dedicated, like, American fans of American products in Japan are, like, it's, it, they are very much so into American stuff, if they are, um, like, really into it. But I'm still waiting for Yakuza on the state side, so, you know. Yakuza 4, right? Yeah. Or 3, whichever it is, but, that, you know. It, that'll it, never happen, but, you know, what, what can you dream? It's Konami, it's Sega, right? Uh Hey, just throw it out there. Southbound, I'm going to give you a call right back to try to fix your video, okay? Okay. Just a separate call once it comes in. Yeah. It sucks, but it's just another function of companies that don't trust in what they're seeing and in the respect that their fans have for them, Put and they put better? more weight on... We're um, not getting video. We're just getting your picture. They, they, they put more weight on what has made their competition money. So, it, and I guess it's a weird thing where we don't know what mobile games get played in Japan. Off the top of our heads, like I, I don't know, I don't know what big mobile game it, there is there are in Japan. I know that like the 3DS and the Vita are still pretty popular, but we don't know what phone games are big there. Yeah. But Is that better? It, it was yeah. a mistake for a lot of these companies to do that too. But you look at someone like From Software, and they've maintained a healthy uh, fan base just by doing what they do best instead of trying so hard to appeal yep. to a different audience. And um, yeah, we're, we're, we're seeing Japanese companies go back to what worked in the past, I think. And this will be a better generation for them overall, I think. Hopefully, hopefully. I mean, the, the Castlevania guy, is it Koji Igarashi, just did a Kickstarter and raised like... It's doing really well, yeah. Yeah, he got over money. a million dollars already. It's so, almost at two now. Oh, wow. Wow, yeah. that's, that's awesome. And it's like... <sighs> thing is, is that they all bet in exactly the wrong places now they've all moved and they're all moving in the same direction apart from square and what square did differently was they actually bought idos so that they didn't have to make games focused on a specific area because they had an entire side of the entire side of the business to do that so they don't need to make their games more western focused because they'll just make deus ex and hitman and all that stuff instead whereas none of the others did that and they were suffering for it i mean you know Capcom has like Blue Castle and that's it. Right. Just that they became yeah. Capcom Vancouver. Yeah. So I mean they, they are they have made them a lot bigger. And they are I think they're working on two projects now. Um so, you know, they have, they have done sort of reasonably well with that. But I mean, you know, for Lost Planet three they got <laughs> was it Spark Unlimited to do it and then you know, I mean now they've just announced that they're not making games anymore. So, you know, it's just fairly awful business decisions all over the place. It's is nobody nobody likes to hear this at least here 
You know, outside of, I, I'm pretty sure there are people in Japan that are rejoicing about this, but none of us here are. None of us okay. here are. I'm just not. give I'm me just... Metal Gear Solid Four on Xbox One and PS4, so I can play it with a you know, well, so I can actually play it now, but with a non-shit controller and stuff, and and then they can go and die or whatever. <laughs> well, Vern, I'm not getting your video now, so I'm just gonna fuck it. Let it roll. Let it roll. Uh, where were we? We finished talking about the death of Konami. Konami's gone. Goodbye, Konami. R.I.P. Xbox One E3 plans unveiled includes public fan fest. That's right, people. Yeah! It's public fan fest. <laughs> yeah! There you go, Timmy. Yeah. Tim, Xbox go. will give 500 Handshake. lucky fans a one-of-a-kind ticket for E3 week. The gaming industry's biggest showcase, the Xbox Fan t- Fan Fest ticket, will include entry to the Xbox E3 2015 media briefing on Monday, June 15th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific, uh, an invite to an exclusive Xbox Fan Fest party Monday afternoon, June 15th, where fans will get to play the best exclusives and biggest blockbuster games this holiday and beyond. VIP access to the Xbox Esports celebra- uh, celebra- Celebrity Challenge Tuesday night. Meet and greet with some of the industry's uh, top developers, leaders, and influencers. Even more surprises, surprise events during the week. So It's going to be an all-out Xbox extravaganza, and um, it should be great because... Ain't no party like an Xbox party, and they go all the way 100%. It's, it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. And they're going to also have, um, I believe, Xbox Daily, which is going to be one-hour show um, that they'll be, I guess, airing every day. Over three days, yeah. They did yeah. the same thing yeah. last year. Yeah, they, they did it. What, you're telling me the E3 press conference is only an hour? No, hour I'm saying... Half. <laughs> hour and it should half. be an hour and a half. But I think it's they're an gonna hour, have all right? types of shit. <laughs> yeah. It's a joke. Everybody on like there was like five people on Gaff just like so it's only an hour show? That's Why would Major short. Nelson be the one hosting it? Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. Well they they just said that they had so much stuff that they were gonna have to show stuff at Gamescom as well, so they were hoping up that event. So I can't imagine they'd cut their show oh, by you half had an to bring hour. up Gamescom. <laughs> I can't imagine they cut their show by half an hour and then say, oh, but we haven't got enough time to show everything we're doing in August. That's yeah. just silly. So, but no, it's, it's, it's big. I mean, just by the, 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 the daily shows, they made it seem like they had announced stuff there. Like, I, su- I presume it's going to be probably more like indie stuff, but that sounds pretty cool. Uh, I'm very excited for what they've got planned. I'm not. I think it's going to be an awful E3, and you should all wait for the Sony show that night because it's going to be better. You need to stop being you know a negative I'm Nancy. I'm going to be too busy Dustin. at an Xbox party getting drunk, celebrating Xbox, and then worry about what PlayStation and Sony are doing. Great, me too. So, hey, we'll, South we'll be Town, Town Tim, together, brother. are y'all going to hang out? Yes, we yes, are. Yes, yeah, definitely. I got a, I got a bunch of people I got to meet, um, but definitely looking forward to meeting Southbound. Uh Tim's finally yeah. getting his big check. It's gonna be this is this like is my yeah Mr. this McMahon is my big thing. Where they're gonna, he's gonna have like a five foot wide check, and he's like, "Here you go, Tim. Thank you for all your service." Actually, they're gonna meet you, and they're gonna be like, "Wow, he's really tame compared to his Twitter persona." Yeah, I'm, I'm done with this guy. They're, they're gonna meet him. He's gonna be quiet. Man. They're gonna like have confetti when he gets off the plane and red carpet <laughs> and everything, and he's just gonna walk in there like, "Well, what happened to Tim?" Huh? Wait, oh. wait, wait, that's Tim, dog. What, what, did he get neutered on the plane? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm just gonna go. I just, I, you know, I just, I just want to go and have a good time. You know, I'm a, not, not a, you oh, know. You I, I'll just be hanging out with you, probably in a corner or something, <laughs> just playing games and just checking, you know, checking all the all the hoopla. But I, I'm definitely excited. Um, hope it's not too hot, you know. You know <laughs> what? Like, it um, won't be. It, it 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 might be a little bit hot in the actual E3 floor because yeah. uh, I mean it's just like it's going too much oh, well, yeah, earlier. Yeah. A lot of sweaty bodies and bad hygiene, and you're just like, really. Come but on, summer weather people. in LA is really nice. It's yeah. it's not bad. It, it can get you know Look, pretty hot, but saying, it's it's a dry hot. So Tim, every, everybody that's fucking southbound, everybody's going to fucking E3. Just 
Just make sure you have <laughs> more fucking sanitizer than anything you've ever yeah. heard in well, your life. Well, I'm really excited, though. I'm going for... I have family out in Whittier, L.A. So, oh, oh, not Whittier. Yeah, I think it's L.A., but it's close to where I have to it's be. It's East L.A., yeah. Yeah, um, and uh, I'm really forward, looking forward to meeting them, too. So it's like it's I have this, and then I ha- get a, to hang out with Bart, who's my friend out there. You know, he's uh, you know, he's my, my wife's whatever cousin or whatever, her husband. So he, And we, we just have it's a – Yeah, family. it's family. It's family. And, Wait, and I he's just your want, wife's husband? <laughs> What's going on here, Tim? I'm no, confused. Um, I just love LA. There's some brother Tim, husbandry Tim, going on. Tim's a side bitch. Uh, uh, don't even. We... <laughs> Look, Tim doesn't know what to say anymore. No, Tim's done. Listen, no, I'm really. Like I got a really see, big bed. I love tweet. LA though. I'll like they say that. on Spaceballs, I'll... I'm your brother's no, your father's <laughs> brother's nephew's roommate. What does well, that make us? Nothing. I don't know. But Absolutely I just nothing. Want, <laughs> yeah. I just want to give props to L.A. because I've been to San Diego and I've been around there. L.A. is L.A. is unbelievable. I love it. I love the people there. I love the. It's like a New York type atmosphere. The sport fans and I just love the area. It's just just really. I'm I'm just pumped. Even after E three too, because you know it's just it's just like right. gonna be a sick vacation. Tim, I'm, I'm about to DM you the emoji with the, the hearts and the eyes, baby. You're uh, really uh, sweet talking me right now. Oh, I like LA. <laughs> I like LA. I went to a Dodger game uh, two years ago. I'm probably gonna go again. I mean, I'm a Mets fan, but I, I do like the, I, I like the Dodgers too. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm sorry, but yeah, I'm I'm a huge Dodger fan. I know they're doing good. Mets are not doing so good now. Well. You know you're, what? You're always I, have I the amazing them. Mets, okay? Tim. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a, I, I used to be a huge baseball fan like I am with the Xbox, but my the owners of the Mets kind of pushed City me. City Field looks beautiful. So, uh, just yeah. out of curiosity, since sure. you were such a big baseball fan, did you have a Twitter account? Cuz I would No, to go but to I, I I was I was a huge huge I was on mets.com. Did you I actually was, watch the games? Oh, I went to I went to every <laughs> game. I, I went to almost I was huge. Like the way I am now, honestly. Look, the, I'm going to imagine you is never going to a single game, but being the biggest Mets for years. Exactly. Years old, so. yeah. no, I, I was a huge, passionate Mets fan. I'm not that passionate anymore. The, the owners took a lot out of me. Um, I'm sure you know about bad owners. Uh, uh, you oh, know, my God. Um, Don't get me started about McCourt. Oh, yeah, gosh. I know. I know all the whole story, but, you know, Jeez. we got we got, we got got pretty bad owners. So they took a lot out of me. But well, now, didn't, didn't they have a Ponzi scheme or something yeah, going on? Yeah, they, they got, yeah. yeah. A lot of history t- turned me off. So, but a lot of my passion from that has now switched over to Xbox. So that's why I'm a little. No, you don't say. <laughs> You've refocused your energy. Pretty much, yeah. I hate to say it, yeah, I did. See, I reckon that uh, at the E3 show, like Phil's going to announce something, and Phil uh, and t- Tim's going to like jump on stage and start dancing around and stuff, and then Phil's just going to like Tim get off the stage. <laughs> get out. <laughs> hey, could That'd you hear? Great. Look, there's an official uniform to the Xbox Uncut. <laughs> club okay well the and it's truth- a brown shirt worn by ken lob and if y'all could wear that <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's that's not no that. no well, well, well truth uh you um uh, southbound you'll find this funny truth insider and all his his friends thought actually i was saying i was going on stage they thought i was going on stage at one point like they really oh, believed it wow. they were going that, crazy that, that really should happen I can make hey, a photo. No, of I don't want to go happening. on stage. I don't. Yeah, I'm do. not that guy. I'm not love it. Look, I'm I saw. Guy. I saw well, a green show. As long yeah. as you're backstage or on the floor and you know getting to meet everybody, it, it, it's a beautiful. That's show. all. All right, let's move on, people. Let's move on. Let's talk about Life is Strange. Third episode launches on May nineteenth. Which this Marie means- is excited. Yeah, I, I'm kind of excited, but I need to finish episode two because I stopped yeah. playing like three quarters of the way through it and just stopped. <laughs> yeah, I didn't finish two yet, so I gotta get ready for it. I that. haven't played it at all, so I no no comment here, there, guys. It's I, was... I think it's decent. I like it. I played the first one. I'm gonna play the second one. I'm probably play the third one. It's a whacked out game. I hated it for ten minutes. Played it, and then now I liked it. I, don't, I can't explain it. Wait, Other you than... played a game, Tim? What? Yeah. You, you put down Twitter for you know the yeah, play a yeah, game? Yeah, I, I, I played. I played that one. And I actually so finished a rare occurrence. Oh my god, I'm like blown away over here. I played Halo Four two nights ago for like four hours. Halo. Oh. Wow. Uh, I I look, myself. you know what I hear when he says that, Vern? He didn't play with us. 
No, he did We invited. He played you with Brad Gamer. I see him log on all the time, but you know he never TV, comes into Netflix, party chat. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's my wife too. She's on. It's yeah. just. You can make separate accounts. That's, just that's, that's it out a, there. But, exactly. Yeah. I have. To and you Xbox. have 15 Xbox One. Now when she, when now when you log on, I just think, oh, that's Mrs. Dog lo- logging on. <laughs> All right, let's let's just uh, let's move along. It's Assassin's Creed Syndicate is officially announced, people. So, oh my goodness, is anybody I was, excited? I am actually. I wasn't. I was like, oh man, I'm tired of Assassin's Creed. And they showed it. And it's like, holy shit, it's How gonna pull me right I? back in. And it's I gonna am, pull me I, right I would back in. Exact opposite. I, I love Assassin's Creed, but when I seen this trailer, I was just kind of like, <laughs> did you see the gameplay and, though? Yeah, no, I, no, I, you know, I don't think I did. They showed a the, gameplay sample on the Twitch stream. They showed a whole like a, a whole uh, mission and everything. And, and really, oh, yeah, I missed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I thought it, was, it, I it looks a lot so better. It looks a lot better. They uh, reduced the population of the crowds. Sorting you can tell that was one of the Queen changes they made to help increase performance. I'm guessing. But none of Unity uh, was beautiful. Uh, yeah, but it, you know, yeah. It just it's horrible. This yeah, yeah. Th- this one, I don't know. It just looks a little more interesting to me. The combat is a, probably about twice the speed because the whole idea is. You, if, if you were That's holding a sword in public in, you know, London right. in, what, 1868, right. everyone would be like, why the fuck are you holding a sword? So, uh... <laughs> I just hope... I just yeah, hope so... Uh, it's so, about well, the same well, time as Jack the Ripper, isn't well, it? Yeah, well, 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 anyway, they... They, um... The combat's all centered now around hand-to-hand, like, with, you know, fists. So it's a lot of punching, brass knuckles, using the assassin's blade. Um, if you're going to use some kind of uh, weapon that's a, similar to a sword, the closest thing would be like pulling out a machete or something like that. Cooper, um, yeah. the big melee weapon they showed off a lot yeah, of. Yeah, so um, the combat's a whole lot faster. It looks more reminiscent of something like Batman or Sleeping Dogs or what every game is doing now for combat, it seems. Um, which it should be better than what we've seen in the past, at least. Maybe something you've played before, but at least it'll be better. And then uh, there's mounts in the game now. You're uh, not just you know horses Assassin's like in the past. It's the actual game. carriages, and apparently you can use the car like moving carriages for parkour right, can, or stuff it, like well, that. Didn't so say you can fight on top of the carriages or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so. And, and then like, there's the whole gang warfare aspect to it as well. So mm-hmm. it seems like traffic Gangs is a big deal. Gangs of London, same sort of thing. I mean, it, it's probably the first Assassin's Creed I've been interested in playing since three, which you know, that let me down a lot. Um, I like three. Yeah, Connor, I did not. Connor, I did not. I, I really <laughs> dug them. I, you know, I didn't like the whole. You know, oh, psych, you're not Connor in the first uh, hour of the game, but I, I, I like three. No, th- I agree. Three was a good game. It, I mean, it had its issues, but it was overall it was enjoyable. Yeah, I, I I really liked it. I, I didn't stick with Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I played a little bit, and then Destiny came out, and I was gone. Black Flag I was very good. It, it really <laughs> kept me. I, I think that was probably the best to date. Can we just not opinion. call it Bl- Assassin's Creed? Can we just call it uh, Pirates? Pirates Black Flag Edition. <laughs> But um, you know, some people are some people are you know really looking forward to this, and some people aren't. Some people are saying it's way too much. Um, who knows? It, I, at the end of the day, it's all up to you how you perceive it. And maybe this ends up being the one that really captures a lot of people who have lost it. But you know, people have people have constantly been saying they just need I, to stop and just let I it rest for a they, while. Uh, they they're going more of a single player focus. I think they bit off a little bit more than they well, can no. shoot with Unity. And, and that's what really broke the game. Well, it's not more of a single player focus. There is no multiplayer that's in this right. game. Right. Well, that's Assassin's Creed I mean, the, the Syndicate is no multiplayer. It. There's no Good. multiplayer. Good, because Assassin's Creed 2 is amazing, and it didn't need multiplayer, and it didn't have it, and it was great for it. So, stick with that. No, but There's three games that need is, multiplayer is, uh, co-op, but Assassin's Creed, I don't think so. Thanks for tuning in, Prophecy. Prophesy. Prophecy. It's prophesy. And the, the other thing is, is that they, they legitimately put out a video that's like, what we learned from our mistakes with Unity. Companies never do that. They don't they don't go, we made a mistake and we're going to fix it. 
They're well, pretty helpful. The reason yeah. why they say that is because you could buy Unity for anywhere for a code for like nine dollars. So I mean, that should let you know. That... Or you could have got it for free and never played it with Unity, <laughs> like some people I know. Well, that was a <laughs> that was a guy on Reddit that that said he went to see it or something and he, he asked them about Unity and they said that they kind of realized towards the end that it just wasn't going to be ready but they didn't delay it because they knew it would impact the schedule of the end. and I was like oh that's, oh, so that was nice of them no but, but if, like e even mm -hmm. if Unity let's say Unity took another year let's say they pushed it back one year and pushed all these games back a year for dev cycle it would have fucking made all their games a lot better <laughs> The story it, it was still crap, so I mean, guess it really didn't matter. Well, that's no, but matter. like, okay, like if Syndicate, no, but, well, if Syndicate comes out and it has nothing to do with what's happening in the modern world, and it's just another fucking yeah, it's in London and one we're not shot. Gonna, we're not going to talk about what happened at the end of three. We're not going to talk about it. Then they have kind of lost Assassin's Creed. See, like, and would... and that's you know that was a part of my big problem with Unity was the whole like conspiracy theory with the you know the first people and all that. I like that aspect of it. I you know that really was interesting to me. Yeah, it's just they need to crack down and concentrate on the future in the, the well the they are it, it's it's hard no but they're, 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 they they have these games the last every couple year games. you know it, no but they're... it's like they have we've talked about this before but it's like they have no plan for what's gonna happen it's just like well we're just gonna keep making games and eventually once we're told that this is the last one then we'll wrap it up like at this point assassin's creed to me is just fucking to me, Assassin's Creed at this point is Final Fantasy. They're totally different universes almost because fucking Unity, Black Flag, uh, they just have nothing really to add to the story overall. Like, you, you could skip it. Like, there's nothing in Black Flag you need to well, know. Well, see, Black. exactly. With Unity, I, I don't know who all played through it, and I don't want to give no spoilers out. But at the end, you're just kind of like, okay, where does this fit in the timeline of Assassin's Creed? Like is it should have been just like a DLC story, yeah. When it come down to it, well, it's a one shot, just like Assassin's Creed Four Black Flag was. You know, every single but but it had and, and, and it, it seems had like tie in to three, the Kenways. Yeah, yeah, at least to that storyline, but right, it didn't have anything to do with the future storyline. I'm saying, well, I with, felt, with felt... Desmond and all that, I mean that that kind of got sold up. No, but the thing is, is they left three off at this huge, like, fucking turning point for the franchise. And everybody thought it was going to do something in the next game, and they didn't. I mean, they had an awesome pirate mechanic, but they didn't yeah. do anything with the story. And then it was like, okay, they're going to wait for a numbered game to do it. Right. Assassin's Creed 4 Unity comes out. Nothing, oh. really, for the story that they continue, continue on. And then now Syndicate's coming out, and it's not a numbered game. At this point, I it could go either way. It could have something to do with the modern story or not. Like mm -hmm. it's it, it's it's up in the air. Who knows? Yeah. They'll bring the numbers back when the series starts to drop fade a bit. out. Yeah. Well, I, Unity sold so so poorly. I mean, they have to do something. I don't know what well, what they could do, but it actually sold all right, especially when you include the bundled well, copies. But it didn't. You know, it didn't yeah, when you can get it for nine dollars, it should. Yeah, yeah, it did, it did all right, but yeah, it didn't. I, I doubt it reached expectations, and it did tarnish the the brand quite a bit. It did. But I, look, I'm gonna put. It looks cool to put a good twist on this. I'll. I'm half tempted to say I'll pick it up day one, I'll buy it. but don't it's. I'm, I'll buy I, it. I don't know if I'll wait for it. reviews or not. Like this isn't. This is one of those tricky games where. This might be the first one that I say I have to say I have to wait for a review. I can't just buy it. Yeah, the well, engine still looks yeah, good though. And Ubisoft, they're so strict with their, you know, their uh, review copies, and you know, yeah, you you won't you won't hear nothing until a week after it's already out. So I'll buy a first day. You know, I, I like I like collecting games. You know, I liked all the AAA titles, so I'll buy it. And yeah. if I like it, I like it. I, I hope I'm pleasantly surprised. But if not, eh. 
there's yeah. th- this one's got a a unique thing where there's eight different studios working on it as well. Oh man! Which makes me think that they're just throwing bodies at it because it's not going to be ready again. Now, yes. Steve, let me ask you this: You being in the UK, are you going to be like, "Oh, hey, that looks familiar. That place is familiar"? Because I know I did that with GTA Five. Um, probably not. I... Big Ben Parliament, <laughs> oh, <laughs> 1968. <laughs> Big Ben Parliament. Well, I mean, the, the general layout of the city still. Yeah, still, right? yeah. I, I probably was. I, I'm not intending to play it I, after I the SEO trilogy. Right now. That's my house. <laughs> I, could, I, I, I could try and find Bloody my own house in, in London, but um, yeah, no. It's, I mean, it it looks good, but I I probably would recognize stuff, but I probably won't bother playing it. It just feels like I don't know. To me, it just feels like there's not much creativity that, that I enjoy. I actually did play the 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 Assassin's Creed Chronicles China game this week. I thought that, that was the most creative thing that's come out of the Assassin's Creed franchise since Brotherhood. <laughs> So <laughs> <laughs> that that was me. No, you know what? That that uh, the Chronicles was actually pretty fun. I, I put some time into it. It, it wasn't bad at all. I had a hard time together. getting into it. Really? Yeah, I did. But you know, everyone's got their own things they like. Like I actually like Seth's free Unity. Oh. Uh, all right. Well, I, I won't. Then. I won't. You know, invite some you people for- hated that game. Some people loved it. It's just the way it is. No, most people hated it. <laughs> I, I think the, the weird no, thing I'm was. Sorry, I, I, I don't mean th- to throw it out like it under the bus, but a, mo- the majority of people did not like it. It's just well, there's a lot of people that hated it but finished the game. That's what I don't understand. The, well, I, I, and that's me. I, I wouldn't say I hated it because I just I, I kind of liked it. it to but, dirt. Like, I but the last, it. the last like fifteen percent of the game, I was just like, all right, I'm over this, but I'm just gonna finish it because I like achievements. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's that's a good place to be in on a fucking story based game. I wish I had that fortitude for certain games. I, you know what? I, not for a lot of uh, indie games. I don't. I'll play like, like ten minutes of it. And I'm like, eh, all right, pass, pass, pass. Yeah. Unity. I'm not a big talking about Assassin's Creed Unity. What's up, Mikey Worm? All right, let's let's move on from Assassin's Creed before I bash it anymore. <laughs> Elder Scrolls Online, Xbox One and PS4 does not lock out people who buy the used copy. It's been updated. Look, look, Yay! The physical co- console versions of Elder Scrolls Online, blah, 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 will not be a one-time game code. So, you know what? Buy it used if you have to. But where, where did that rumor come from? Because this, like, this is the first thing I heard about it. And... It's not a rumor. There was a, a wrong report about how the DRM was going to work for this particular game. People thought it would work like the PC version does in the sense that you would have to have a separate uh, key for every user of the game, meaning you couldn't game share or you couldn't have a used copy be used on uh, another console you know, with a different account. Um, that's not the case. It's going to work just like any other game on the Xbox One. That's what they've confirmed today. Okay. Yeah, because I yep. didn't hear the other, you know, the. What, what yeah, the it was a false report. Yeah, I didn't see that. So all it was, I see it was, was debunking, and I'm like, oh. It was a misread of a, of a developer in a forum, which is mm-hmm. a pretty common mistake to be made, unfortunately. But this is good because most MMOs, you really don't expect it to be like the way it's happening. Because, I mean, you look at Final Fantasy 14 on PS4 and. You have to have a separate key for every individual account that plays the game, you know, and that's not going to be the case with this. So, and it's buy to play, so you don't have to have a subscription or anything. So, if you're interested in the game, I say go for it. It's a good game. Who's Percy? Yeah, Unsug Unsug Hero. Hero said. Yeah, who's Percy? I'm not sure oh. who Percy is. Oh. What's I'll, that let Van, I'll let Van take this one. <laughs> <laughs> is that the guy I was talking to on Twitter? No. Okay. Probably not. What about Percy? Percy's not in our chat room. Percy Jackson? Yeah, that's what I was going for. Percy Jackson. I don't know if I can get him. Uh, Percy, I just want to tell you, I'm very sorry that uh, Xbox won today, and I hope you're doing all right. Just to let you know. (laughs) Well, Tim knows who Percy is. Tim knows everybody. Yeah, Tim knows. Percy's got a lot of hate. All right, let's Percy. Percy, yeah, he does, yeah. Let's move on to the next article. The final article. 
Is that Tim Dog? Yes, that yeah, is no, Tim Dog. Yeah, no, fuck Percy, yeah. Tim Dog is here. <laughs> Tim Dog does a podcast. He does multiple podcasts now. He's a traitor. Oh, uh, yeah, you fucking traitor. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm a multiple podcaster. Yeah. And I'm probably going to come out with my own shit, too. <laughs> All right, let's Damn, move on. To the division has been Barking. delayed. It's now slated for early 2016, people. No way. I'm shocked. Look, yeah, I've I, seen I, that coming a mile away. I know it's a, a downer. It's the last thing we're talking about. Uh, but uh, it's been delayed. There, there will be a beta, though. Yeah, there'll be a beta, and then you're going to not want to buy the game because you've already played a beta, and then you're going to have played an alpha and another beta. Yeah, but you, you know just... what? I said the same shit about Destiny, and look what happened. People no, hated but it. You, you played three <laughs> quarters of the, the beta, or the game in Destiny. So, And... Uh, almost 900 hours later, I'm still playing it. So Hey, that's chump change. Michael, what are you at? 1,200. Oh, wow, we got some sick. competition do you, here. Do you sleep in orbit, though? Or do you no. actually play? I play. Uh, okay. Ooh, I, have have a... people, I have a lot of people that are just sitting in orbit, sitting in orbit. No, I mean, the only time I'm not playing is when I'm, like, eating, and then I go back to playing. So yeah, my wife's like, "Are you gonna go play with your whore tonight?" I'm like, yes. <laughs> you gotta get permission, I bet. Me? Never. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Never play. that. Yeah. That's that's what you say now. I'd like to hear her side of the story. Uh, she'll be home in about an hour. You, you, you'll hear all about it. <laughs> <laughs> and when she I get... let her out of the closet, and you know she's tied up right now. Don't bother me. I'm <laughs> podcasting. <laughs> <sighs> All right, guys, that's it for news. For I mean, uh, I, I guess it's worth saying. Didn't they add another studio onto this game a couple months ago, a couple weeks ago, or something? So, uh, well, Division, they yeah, they did. They hey, Ubisoft. it was Ubisoft Annecy. Well, I mean, uh, this is another game that's being moved into 2016. Like the first four months of 2016. She'll be jam packed. It'll it's, be like this it's year. It's gonna you be know, most terrible. It's it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. There's gonna be so many games coming out because they've been fucking delayed. Oh my god. But then a, a lot of them, I think, will. They how many games that say that you know they're coming in Q1 and then actually hit Q1? There there will be some that will be spread out and there will be think, some that delay further. Think 2016 is gonna be a jam packed full year of games, and it should be a good good year for gamers. And we then need, we'll say the same thing in 2016 about 2017. <laughs> we, we need another 2007, hey, you know 2012. You got to keep, you know, having a reason to buy more Xboxes. And <laughs> if hope for next year being chock full, hey, so oh, be it. Speaking of sold Xboxes, it looks like we have numbers for both uh, Xbox One and PS4 now. <laughs> and people how did that happen? Is that people, official or is it shipped? No, people were able to figure it out based on the clues that were in the in all the different... Um, press releases oh the halo trailers oh never mind so it looks like on xbox for xbox one it was 187,000 units and ps4 was 174,000 units wow so, yeah wow i actually so. predicted predicted 174 for cable uh for uh playstation so i was close i have a tweet yeah, there were, i have a tweet yeah, proving it Either yeah, they're way, really that's close. Big that, that's big numbers, though, for for both consoles. It, well, it looks well. No, um, it's actually more like Xbox is staying steady, and PS4 made a huge drop. That's what's well, strange about it. Yeah, you know, have... right now, as as it stands, there's not very many games coming out for the PlayStation that are you know. Well, in April, yeah, in April there was no right. Bloodborne. In April. And yeah. it, it seems like this year itself, Xbox has a stronger lineup. You know, the obviously I'm biased. Yeah. yeah, they right. seem to have hype so. right now going. It seems like they're going to really start to roll. I mean, I think May might be a tough, tough uh, battle. But I think the reason why uh, Microsoft won is because when the COD news came down that it wasn't going to be current gen, uh, I think a lot of the the the, the 360. Call of Duty players were just like, fuck this, got to get an Xbox. 
And well, uh, and and that Best Buy, you remember that whole yes, yeah, so I got an Xbox. Going, yeah, that that was a big deal. That was a huge. Yeah, there were trade in deals at GameStop and, and Amazon Best Buy. had yeah, the Best Buy NBA. had. I think uh, GameStop was like 120, and then Best Buy came in with 175. Like, wow. Yeah, I got an Xbox out of that. I did. You're that. right about Amazon the NBA deal too. So there are a lot of sales going on. I think that probably helped a lot. Hopefully they can maintain it for the next month, but I guess we'll see. Hype train, uh, baby. Witcher, the Witcher, Witcher, Witcher help, is going to yeah. help, um, and then you know it leads up to E. E three is late in June, so it's they'll, get a, little they'll get a big year on year jump anyway. Because last May they sort of messed up their sales by announcing the Connectless SKU. Yes, so, <laughs> yes. So year I over think, year, uh, it's going to look good. <laughs> for PS4 gonna... until Street yeah. Fighter comes out, but that's just my personal opinion. Street Fighter. That's not until next year. Well. They I do. thought it's this year. The end of this year. No, it's, it's March. No, no, it's 2016. No, you mean, yeah. you know, the ultimate. Oh, Street Fighter 4, Four. Ultimate. That's yeah. not going to sell any PS4s. Are you kidding me? It's, well, it's it probably not... won't, but it was not, it's not going to harm it exactly. I, I mean, I don't really see The Witcher selling many Xboxes. So. It'll keep the pace up, though, I'm saying. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, uh, going back to Destiny, nobody thought that you know it would sell for shit on Xbox, but look, they they outsold PlayStation. So, well, The Witcher has already over a million pre-orders, pre-orders. right? I think that yeah. was announced. So yeah. that's that's really good numbers for a, a that's series huge. To sell anything like that for the previous two games. So, seems pretty solid. But <laughs> yeah, I answer the question about uh, the bundled Master Chief Collection thing. No, what okay. question? No, if we think it's going to be bundled. Oh, uh, it has. No. Been. Oh, Master Chief Collection. It's already bundled. Are you talking about Halo Five? No, I think it'll be bundled with Halo Five. All together. Oh, you oh. think the Halo Special Edition console will have Halo Five and the Master Chief Collection bundled yes. in? It would be smart. Uh, that would be makes smart. Sense. Well, they could, but I don't know. Would would they look at it and say we'll try and get these people to buy Halo MCC as well? They might do that. I don't think they'll keep offering two games in every bundle because I think they'll have. They should. A, a, Why not? Well, well, I don't, well, I, I don't know. Well, Perhaps I mean, I, they should from from a marketing and a, and a fan perspective. And more well, bang I think for your that, buck, and that I mean that just that one extra game will be a lot of determining factors for a lot of people. Well, I think they'll they'll do a double bundle with Tomb Raider. Was was my thinking? Yeah. yeah. To so, please the third parties. <laughs> well, to please Square Enix, who well, yeah, you know they just paid money to, and they're well, they want to get out there. Yeah, they're, they're co-financing it now, so you know. All right. All right. <clears throat> Have we gone over game releases? No, we have not. Not yet. Well, guess what? Witcher's coming. (laughs) We got one coming out tomorrow night, right? What's coming out? Blues and Bullets. Okay. Blues and Bullets is now. I was talking about, uh, what's the. uh, Nero. Kind of like Numa. Nero. Nero. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Uh, Nero. Yeah. I've I've already seen something online about that. I don't know too much about it, though. So, what's coming out, Steve? You got a list? Uh, I do. So I was actually just checking the store. There's actually so there's a very funny surprise release. It's a game called Toro, which seems to be a bull fighting game. Hmm. Hmm. And that's that's not a joke. Um, I'm looking at it now. Toro is the first bull fighting simulator game that will challenge your skills, reflex, and fast <laughs> reactions interacting with 500 kilogram bulls. I mean, as far as I know, this wasn't even announced. I mean, it, <laughs> you should guys just see screenshots. It, it does not look great, um, but that's a bit of a weird one. It's uh, twenty bucks as well with twenty percent discount. It's twenty twenty dollars and it's garbage. Pass. Yeah, well, I mean, it might not be garbage. It just looks it. Okay, um, trash. Sorry. Well, it is a simulator, so and those have the oh, it does have the it looks shit hey. aesthetic out the box basically. I loved Ghost Simulator. And I, I really thought that it would be like, oh, God, really? Go similar? But I, I had a lot of fun playing that damn game. Um, also, there is Nero, which is the first-person adventure game. Uh, 
puzzle solving and exploration. It, it does actually look really nice in Destructoid. I think they gave it like a nine or something, which I was really surprised by. They seem to absolutely love it. Um, so there's that, and obviously there's there's The Witcher as well, which is obviously probably the big one. Unless bullfighting really does catch on. <laughs> this is the year for bullfighting. It's going to yeah. happen. <clears throat> Only in Spain. This is when it goes worldwide. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I've never wanted a game. So you know what? I just want to say Toro. You can watch <laughs> it on Twitch. All right. Well, I guess we should just move into what you've been playing. What do y'all think? Okay, okay. Sure. You're the boss. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, I guess I'll start. I played uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. That's right. Okay. We fucking went in there. And, and no and wonder why you're so you're bashing it so much. You just got through playing it. We yeah. actually had a good time playing it multiplayer. Thank you. Yeah, you can ask Bird. I was very. I, I said. I said I was pleasantly surprised. He was pleasantly surprised. I was too because the last time I, I had played was. it. The last time I had played it uh, with uh, Maria and my friend Jonathan, uh, it was a laggy mess multiplayer. The frame rate was awful. We were getting constant disconnects. It was just, the f- yeah, it was, it was terrible. horrible. Yeah, it was horrible. But just this time, I mean, Dustin will tell you, it was good. Uh, and in, the, in the past week, I've actually seen a few people playing it, which you know, surprisingly, I um, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, I downloaded the. Uh, the DLC, the free DLC that came with it because, you know, the game was broken. And uh, I started to play it. It wasn't bad. Like I said, I, I am a, an Assassin's Creed fan, and I like playing their games, even if I don't really, you know, I already beat the, the game. So I so, said, you know what, I, I was bored. I gave it a shot. It wasn't too bad. It seemed like a lot of the lag and, you know, bugs and stuff were a little bit better. No, but it, the frame rate was better than the last time I played it. The... I mean, don't get me wrong, the stories, whatever. I, I'm going to still go back and play it before The Witcher comes out, because once that comes out, that's like 100 hours that I'm giving up. So 100 plus, man. Yeah. Because that game looks amazing, let's be honest. Okay. It's, it's exciting, for sure. I mean, it comes out the same day as the next Destiny expansion, so... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you're not going to be playing you're not gonna yeah. be playing with you. I mean, I wasn't gonna play day one anyway. How how long do you think it's gonna take you to beat the prison elders? Oh god, I don't I don't have I don't have a stable fire team, so it doesn't matter. So you don't you yeah. don't have a group of guys that you play with? Nope, because all these schmucks hate the game. Hates Who's, a strong these, word. These schmucks? These schmucks? Yeah, not, these schmucks. Not this guy. Look, hate yeah. is a strong word, per Michael. I don't have any completely added, absolutely despised to its very No, core. no, that's not what I I that's don't take I loathe that game, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what? I, I have to admit, when I when I got to level twenty, I was like, Okay. I'm done with this game. It's kinda of boring now. Until we started raiding. Oh my god. Then it just Then we just played it. that like for nine hundred hours just repeating the same Fucking three raids and don't knock games. raiding till you try it. In general, in most games, not enough Absolutely. raids. Absolutely. All right. Well, I'm gonna continue to talk about what I've played. I like other people here. <laughs> interrupt me. All right. Uh, played more Titanfall. The game's fucking great. That's all I'm saying. I don't think we need to go into Titanfall, but that game's still fucking really, really fun. Uh, so you need the last achievement. That's the only thing I'm missing. We need one more achievement. I'll be done. No, you won't be done. You'll just be done with impressive. achievements. You know what? Uh, Titanfall was a really, really good game. I just, like, I have a group of friends that I've played with for the last several years, and they never caught on with it. So, I, you know, it looks like I went back to Call of Duty. And then Destiny came out, and so. Uh, but I, I did. I really did. Like, it all comes back to Destiny with you. Let's move on. Let's talk about Project Cars, because I played that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you played it? How was it? <clears throat> Project Car sucks with the controller. Don't like it. Um, I'm supposed to like set the settings some way that I've never looked up online to figure out. But I have $900 worth of a racing wheel set up. And I use that. And with the racing wheel, it's a lot of fucking fun. 
mm. but I did not enjoy it with the, at all with the controller. Mm. So maybe they set like people. Excuse me. People online say that you have to hook it up some certain way in the settings to make it feel better with the controller, but I don't know. I never tested that out yet. Uh, but the cars feel good with the with the wheel. Uh, the graphics are pretty. The frame rate does dip. You'll see it. Like you'll be running in a straight line, going around sixty frames per second, and then. 20 cars in front of you will all start braking to go into a corner and you'll start to break and you'll just see the frame rate also start to break all the way down to about 30 frames per second and then you'll nice. get around the corner and the frame rate will kick back up but and that's not in the rain that's not fucking with fog and everything else that's just in the middle of the day in the sunlight uh, but I don't it, I want to say it's not game breaking, but if you're going to be like a very big competitive player, it kind of is because corners are extremely important and having your frame rate cut in half is not a good thing. Um, it's probably a game you need to play on PC where you can fine tune it so you can get the best frame rate you can. Um, but other than that, yeah, I like the tracks. The cars were yeah, fun. I'm, I'm not a big yeah. uh, racing guy myself. Uh, Forza Horizon 2 was was pretty pretty much it for me. It, it, it caught me, and I played it for you know I don't know 20 30 hours, and surprisingly I liked it a lot. But that's about as far as it got with me. I, I'm not a big racing sim guy. Yeah, my brother is. That's why we got a racing wheel the way we do. We have a nice seat, and we have a the wheel and the the fucking shifter on the side of it, and nice. Like it's it's a nice setup. <clears throat> but I ended up playing so. some more Forza 5 just because I wanted to end up uh, comparing it and I, I gotta well, say you, you, there's no comparison come on bro Forza, Forza 5's really it. nice when it comes to having really good drive it's ours the AI mm -hmm. is really good like the AI in Project Cars kind of doesn't pay attention to what you're doing it's more like we're gonna follow our line and we're gonna do what we gotta do. And if you're in our way, you're in our way. Well, Forza, you know, like the they'll they'll come after you if that's how the other person drives, or they'll do whatever they gotta right. do. Right. Uh, played a little bit of FIFA 15, not nowhere near the level of Earn, but it's, <laughs> it's all right. But we'll we'll wait to talk about that with Vern. Uh, Played more Minecraft because I'm addicted. Mass Chief Collection. Played a little bit of that. That was good times. So. Uh, and we already talked about Assassin's Creed Unity. Uh, what the hell else did I play? I played something else. Oh, I played the new DLC for on Wii U for uh, Mario Kart. I like mm. it. Oh, it was good. What's the What's the new tracks? I don't fucking. There's an F Zero track. Yeah, 200 there's CC. A, um, there's a uh, Animal Crossing track that has four versions because of different seasons. And then there's two new tracks. Um, a, there's a recreation of Baby Park, which is just um, oh, yeah. just, like, just, like a, just like a traditional racing track. But it's a bunch of laps, and those that map goes to hell real fast. And there's one other track. Oh, it's, a, it's one of the handheld ones. It's called like Cheese World or something like that. Mm -hmm. go figure but um there's like a subway or something else there's some there's some cool stuff to it I, I've, I've checked there's a youtuber i like that checked it out so yeah i mean you know it nintendo knows how to get good value dlc out there except for amiibos but you know that's its own thing but uh yeah i played that and we played hell divers Oh, we did. Oh, Very yeah. unsuccessfully. We, we, we tried we to play Helldivers. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, let's start. Can it... All right, if you're a Sony fanboy, you're going to want to tune out. Because <laughs> I'm about to just bash the shit out of fucking PSN. And I don't want to hurt your feelings, but PSN is fucking garbage. It's terrible. Like, the, the fucking audio quality in Helldivers when we weren't in party chat sounded like it was before the original Xbox came out party chat. It was fucking terrible and so you I'm mean it sound here, like the first uh connect no worse like it is just awful whatever codec they were using it um, sounded like the dreamcast codec or something yeah 
Oh, it was, just, uh, it was <laughs> terrible. Like just fucking god awful. Sound like Sea World underwater. <laughs> and look, all right, just to get people look up behind the curtains real quick. When we do a live stream and I have everybody on it and we're all talking, it's because we all have Skype going on our Xboxes, and I'm recording the call over my PC as we we broadcast, and it gives us this really nice clear audio. And it's about this Skype and Xbox party chatter the same quality because they use the same codec. Just so if you've never used Skype, that's what we're talking about. So we decided to do kind of the same thing with PSN. But because there's no Skype app, there's an, you know it's on Vita, but it's not on anything else. Uh, we had to use PSN's plugin and. It just didn't want to connect, and it didn't sound good even when it connected. And I know I wasn't using the best headset, but there's just no saving grace for it. It, it was awful. Uh, the experience was awful. We kept getting disconnected, even though everybody in our party had an open NAT. We kept having... It was just issue after issue it was funny though by the end of it but it was just issue after issue yeah right. once we got toward the end of it though yeah we did have some fun all right now let's move off of psn being a piece garbage. of garbage uh that people try to say is just as good as xbox live now which they're wrong uh let's just move on to Hell let's talk about hell divers uh me and Burn had waited <laughs> so long to play this after we've done the fucking tutorial. We had like no idea a month what or the two. fuck we were doing. <laughs> um, we ran around a level for a good 30 fucking minutes not knowing what the fuck we were doing. All we had to do just, was extract. We just had to drop an extract pod down to tell us to get the fuck out. We didn't do it. We just kept running around. There has to be an objective. Did you reach high? We're point? like, do we have to blow this up? I think we have to blow this up. But no, it's not taking any damage. What's going on? Where do we have to go? So after about half an hour, for some reason, we looked at it and we decided to drop a drop pod. And there it was. And we, we, we moved on to the next level. Which then we beat within like five minutes of doing yeah. that level, which was fucking hilarious. But I actually really liked Helldivers. It's, it's a cool fun. game. It's a, it has fun mechanics. Um, I think the controls are a little complicated, and that's why most people aren't going to get into it real quick. But I think it's worth. I think it's worth the price of entry with, when it comes to the controls. Once you get it down and you know what you're doing, it's a lot of fun. You know what I liked, and it's a stupid thing to like, was how you had to hold down the L1 button and then put in the patterns to call down different pods. No, and I agree. It, yeah. it seems stupid, but it kind of reminded me of, uh, what's his name, Sabin from Final Fantasy VI, <laughs> doing the, the blitz moves or whatever. <laughs> so for some reason, it just I, I, it put a smile on my face for something stupid like that in the game. But yeah, I enjoyed it too. Well, since we played so much of the same stuff, why don't you just go ahead and get into what you've been playing for? Yeah, same stuff. I mean, besides that, I... I Tell me about FIFA. Uh, yeah, I played a lot of FIFA. What I played was the creative player mode, though. Like the career mode thing or whatever. And that was a lot of fun. I went online and I, I uploaded a, a photo of, of my face and then put a profile photo in, too. And then it mapped that to the player. Which looked awesome. How'd that work? Did it work pretty good? Look yeah, all right? yeah, it looks good. I couldn't find like the right haircut or something, but I mean, it looks like me. It, 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 it's a good job as far as like the way my brow looks and my nose and stuff like that. So it does look like me. And um, I got who? I picked Chelsea just because Steve likes Chelsea. I don't know anything. Yes. About, uh, I don't know anything Champ about it. I don't know anything Champions about football. Of England. So, yeah, Champions exactly. Champions of England. That's. <laughs> You know, I'd just like to take a moment to to say we are Premier League champions. It's a great <laughs> moment for me. Um, roll on next season. Come on, you Blues. <laughs> so anyway, I picked them. And after, like, three games, um, I only got to play one of the... No, for, out of four games, I only got to play one of them because they didn't select me to play on the team. And I was like, man, this sucks. So they said, do you want to... Do you want to go play for another team? We'll put you on a loan to, was it Shre Shrewsbury or something? Oh, my Isn't God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I want to go to League Two football and kick some ass. So I played a whole season of that, actually. full A full season. I got like 85 goals. I got to set up the difficulty big time. 
<laughs> and then uh, I won the Golden Boot Award. And then they're like, okay, we need you back at Chelsea. So now I'm in season two. So, yeah, I got to kick the difficulty up quite a bit. It's, it's really easy. I'm not, I don't even have it on the lowest difficulty. I have it on, like, the second lowest difficulty. Um, I think it's, like, beginner and then amateur or something. And I think I have it on amateur. So I'm going to knock it up a, a notch and see if it's a if it's got an not active so job easy. difficulty. Yeah. But it's fun. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I don't know anything about football, so... It's a, I think it's a very easy sport, like controls wise. It's a very easy sport to get into. Absolutely. When I, yeah, I was looking A is at, flop, like, B is flop, Y is flop, X is pass. No, but the, the way they do the career mode, it's fun. Yeah. Like when I was looking at Madden and I just, one of the other one, <laughs> was it on, on well, EA Access? I was looking at it and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm not interested enough well, to work out what this means. There's not many rules. I mean, you have offsides, which makes complete sense now. Not that I I see really how it works. I just never really followed hockey or, or soccer, so I never quite understood how that rule works. But yeah, that makes sense. And and then besides that, I mean, yellow cards, red cards, not much to it as far as rules are concerned. At least in in what I've played so far. Mm. Um, I'm playing a striker, so it's pretty fun. Yep. I, I like the way they do stamina in the game. It really stops you from just holding the R trigger and running all the time because if you do that you'll get knocked out of the game pretty early or get an injury which is pretty smart um yeah but yeah it's a fun game it looks good the i i didn't really i don't really love the camera mode that they select for the uh, uh there for, are a lot of different modes yeah i'll have so to play with more of them switch around you'll have fun when you like well, it didn't look no. like 60 frames per second in the default mode. It looked closer to 30, like it was dropping no. frames. But then when you switch it to the regular like TV presentation, it gets it gets better, and it seems like a solid 60. But yeah, it's a fun game. Um, I was I'm surprised. I, I, I like the career mode a lot better than what I played in NBA Live. So mm. I think it does it a lot better. So the thing is, now we've got you into football, and now we need to move on to cricket. <laughs> I am not buying a cricket game. The only ah. reason I'm even playing football is because soccer. It was free. It's soccer. soccer. We're in the states, man. Yeah. I'm calling it. I'm calling it football when I talk to Steve. <laughs> well, it's That's technically. It. Yeah, now you're gonna walk around saying, "Oh, shite!" <laughs> Bug of my ass. <laughs> I actually, I made a post today, and somebody said, "Asshole." Gosh, American English is so stupid. And I was like. Don't you do well, things to you complain say, about? You say fizzy drinks or whatever. Fuck a duck. Yeah. If we do not fuck ducks, I, I, I don't that's, like that's, 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 I don't that's like the Welsh. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, but you guys, you drink fizzies, right? Or something? Is that what, what you call them? Yeah. Fizzy. They're like what a soda. Is, yeah. We, yeah. But, what else could fizzy <laughs> mean? I, <laughs> like, uh, I, I don't know. Love... It, it could be like a wine cooler. It just well, sounds lemon... really... It's. It sounds really cute, you know. I'm gonna have a fizzy. Lemonade is what they call have a fizzy. <laughs> or when they smoke, smoke yeah. a fizzy. lemonade. It's fucking so. goddamn. It's lemonade. It's... Nah. <laughs> lemonade. 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 Fuck you. Well, get down. Come on, let's go. Down, get the lemon, keep the lemonade. Yeah, so. Okay, so what the hell's uh, going on? <laughs> Pronunciations will not be forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> but oh. yes, I do. I do like FIFA. And besides FIFA, I did play one more game. I just got it last night. I played it for about two hours, three hours, um, maybe two and a half. I don't know. Uh, Lifeless Planet. I got it. Tried it out. It's not bad. I mean, I was expecting a lot worse based on what some people were saying. I think people expected an action game or something, but. It's not at all. Game. It's an exploration game. Um, it's more about, I guess, the way the story is revealed and trying to find out what what happened on this planet than anything else. There is some platforming, and so the platforming can be fun. Only issue is if you're in the middle of a boost jump, you can't alter your direction once you're on a certain pathway, which is kind of old game design, I, I, I feel. Um uh, most 3D platformers, and I guess 2D platformers too, you know, when you're falling, they let you move the character a little. It, it's not always like a set path, and this game physics. doesn't... What? Basically. It lets you defy physics, basically. Exactly, but that's a part of good game design now. 
Um, and, and that game is missing it, which is one of my main gripes. But And it's not a real looker. Um, it's interesting looking, but it's not yeah, great it, looking, you know? It's definitely something that stands out for what it is because it's, it's meant to be an isolated experience, right? And it does just, a good job at that. Yes, yes. Um, for that, it's worth commending. and Because I looked at gameplay of it before, and it seems like something... You know, worth picking up if you want to play something that's definitely different from other and games. The, oh, the score is great, too. The music's awesome. That's what I've heard. That's what yeah, I've heard. I, I like it a lot. And the the Russian voiceover stuff is actually pretty effective. They added that for this version, which I like. Uh, but, I mean, I think it's worth playing. I don't know if it's worth, what is it, like $16 right now, fifteen ninety nine or something? Yeah, it's $20 with discount. Yeah, it's definitely not worth twenty dollars um, for the sale price. I would say maybe, but uh, for most people, I would say wait till it's about half off, like ten dollars or something. But it, it's worth trying. It definitely is worth trying. It's not a bad game by any means. All right. Well, let's move on from Vern and his foosball. And let's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I just drowned your voice out, Vern. That's what I do. But how yes. are you, Vern? Uh, I just want to double check, you know, we're, we're getting towards you know, the I, end. I'm, so, I'm, I'm good. Thanks for asking, and I really appreciate that you care. I do. You're a sweetheart. I, I try. I try. It's what a brother husband would do. It's true. <laughs> All right. Who the hell should we talk to next? I think we should talk to Southbound since he said half his game is in the middle of me talking about my game. So, Southbound. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You know what? I, I get so excited. I, just, I, I know. cut everybody cool. off. No, no, that's um, cool. Actually, I, surprisingly, I played a lot of Destiny. All right. Remember, no way. just wait a second. Just, you know, yeah. you might be surprised. It has a two-minute time limit. It has okay, two so minutes. Okay, so I've been playing. And, no, each, <laughs> each person has two minutes. And I'm going to have a clock on you if you start talking about Destiny. Remember that. Two minutes. Any more than All that? All right, you know what? You're gone. I've, I've played actually a lot of uh, indie games. I, I tried out the Swapper, which I don't think it's out just yet, which is a pretty cool little platformer. Um, uh, I never heard of it. Uh, a buddy of mine gave me a code, so I, I you know, popped it in, and uh, it's pretty cool. Um, got a little bit into uh, Infinity Runner. Got stuck at a point on that one. So played... I don't know. Good hour on that. Got stuck. All right, next one. Uh, Shovel Knight. Pretty cool game. Yeah, I played that too, but I was playing um, on Wii U. Yeah, you know that's a good that's a good old school you know slash new school platformer. It really is cool. You know, I'm not really good at platformers, so I get stuck and, and bored pretty pretty fast. Yeah. Um, yeah, I saw everybody on my friends list playing Shovel Knight, and I was like, you know what? I own that fucking game. I could just go and take it off yeah. the backlog and play it on Wii U and actually yeah. you know, power it's, it's it's definitely about worth the money. Yeah, I finished that one uh, in the last week too actually. You didn't have the battle touch that Dustin. I didn't have the battle toes, it's true. But you know what? I didn't have to spend any more money. <laughs> it's true. Okay, well you can't just throw things like that in my face, man. That's not fair, is it? <laughs> Pick your battles, man. Pick your battles. Play so how far did you get it? Have, uh, and and Silver Knight? I have Yeah. I wasn't very far at all. Um, I got oh, okay. past the, the Red Knight and then started to, to get to the next level. And then I was like, all right, Destiny's calling. Yeah. I started getting invites. Oh, uh, okay. All right, sure and then, ten, uh, ten, ten seconds down on your Destiny talk. Just so you, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, and then I, I popped in a little bit of Mortal Kombat X. Uh, play. I got my ass whooped um, multiplayer online. Um, so she I played Tim. Whatever, yeah. I'm down. <laughs> You know, honestly, I've never even added to I'll play to you. It. you. You'll probably Tim beat ran me. back to his microphone like, I'm going to play somebody in a game. Well, <laughs> add me, bro. I don't, I mean. We're not friends. on Twitter. No. I'm, oh, I'm not well, cool well, enough I, 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 Tim I, I, well. I didn't even know you until uh, uh, 20, uh, 14 days ago. I, I don't have an idea how we haven't talked before, but. Yeah, I, I, me neither. It's, it's That's crazy. pretty crazy. I actually knew. Through truth I, inside. I knew Dustin was yeah. Right. Yeah. From all. Yeah. From lions. I'm so. just glad I could be the glue that hooks southbound into. I woke up. It's Xboxmatch.com. <laughs> yeah. I sent. Uh, just just send me your 
GT in uh in in uh Southbound Space One Ten. So Southbound what's your relation name? What's your relationship name gonna be? Is it gonna be South Dog or Timbound? Southbound <laughs> one seventeen? Are you gonna keep your maiden name and like in behind it or how how's this oh, Okay, it's your Well you know what? Thing. We're gonna hyphen it. You're gonna hyphen it? Yeah, we're gonna hyphen it. Okay. I'll add you tonight. Know, I don't know who's gonna go first though, you know. I'm gonna add you tonight, Project Natal fan. For the uh, great, oh, you for, know, yeah, I did, I did see that. Uh, Truth was actually going in on you. He doesn't even play games. So I was like, yeah. Oh, whatever. Uh, Too what, much before stuff. Before I Twitter. interrupted, what, what else have you been playing? Southland? What else have I been playing? You know, I I don't know exactly what. I, like I said, I've, I've got a lot of codes for uh, for indie games, so I kind of tested those out. Nothing, yeah. nothing big. Um, I feel the I same way every time up. I boot up my PS4 and I just download I'm, all the indie games that came out for free and then I turn it off. Yeah, I played a little bit of uh, Project Root and I mean, I, I put a good five hours in it so, so far and I, I can't get past the first level. For I don't know why I keep blowing shit up and shooting at things and it seems like it's never, like it's unlimited. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? I, I feel like I'm like a three-year-old, you know, just running around a, a world. And so, but it's fun though. I, I'm, I'm digging it. it uh, what else? What else do I got? All right, now um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you and Michael an opportunity. You'll have four full minutes between the two of you to talk about <laughs> Destiny. You sure? <laughs> but that you takes sure. up both of y'all's time to talk about it. Could I make it like three so that you know so it's like get, just get it out? Less. <laughs> yeah. Are you cool with that, Michael? So again, my place how, how about for... you go ahead and you you start and and then I'll fill in if you uh you know yeah tell us about Destiny Michael <laughs> I played a lot God. of it that's it ah that's, that's it. it there's no love in his voice for what's I, your I, what's like your I, current goal in Destiny uh have all my marks capped out so I can get as much gear as possible day one yep um. What kind That's... of weapons are you interested in now? Like, what's the good shit? The nerfed auto rifles is shit. So pulse rifles are the, probably the best weapons in the game, honestly. Is there a specific um, one? The edict. Red Death's pretty good for PvP. Three little, three little words, or the three, you know, three little words is pretty good for PvP. Um, I love you. And, uh, yeah, I mean, PvP is good when it's three on three. Or six player, but anything more than that, then you can tell the game was not programmed to handle twelve people at once. Mm-hmm. So, I'd, ra- I'd rather do they. F- and granted, the multiplayer that they're adding to the game is a three versus three elimination game. So, oh, I think I, th- I think that I think that Bungie have recognized that their game works best when it's six people on a map versus twelve people. So, good on them for doing that. I think. Interesting. Southbound. Any comments on Destiny? You got a minute Destiny, and a half. Uh, too many. Um, no, you know what? I, I don't have three little words. I I don't play PvP. I complete garbage at it. I suck. So I know my strength is, you know, raiding and, and bounties and, you know, strikes. So I I got, I got a few friends that we kind of, it's like three of us, and then we just add whoever else, you know, wants to join in. So... Mike, anytime you're ready, you want to kill some Dota, Xbox Live. holler at me. Have me on Xbox Live. Got you. I, got, st- I got a badass sword runner. I still haven't tried the first raid yet. We'll take you through yeah. it. BOG, we got you. I did it on my... Yeah. Uh, you're going to be able to ascend card. that gear. You'll be able to get maximum level gear yeah, um, no, I in House it. of Wolves I with got that gear. Vault ready. Don't, don't do it for that. Don't go to the dark <laughs> side. <laughs> I got so much other stuff to play. I Ten, know, but nine... <laughs> oh yeah, and you got that timer going. House of Wolves. Oh, okay. Soon yeah, next week. That might be delayed a day or two. Or no, no. All right, no. people, Patch. shut the fuck up. The Destiny's oh, over. Okay. Time is up. No yeah. more Destiny talk. Drop the mic. We're done. So is it Steve or Tim? Did what? Is I, I didn't go. But Steve. Michael didn't, didn't play anything else uh, of that game. We shall not talk about. Uh, what game? You know, the one. Uh, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've been playing. Uh, I used uh, Cinder, and I was surprised at how uh, 
it's a different kind of character the way you have to fight with him. Um, his damage is like dog shit. It's like you hit, you have to hit your your opponent a lot, but he has a lot of like tools and and things like that you can use that um, that. That just make him interesting for me. Like, you know, like he can throw the fireball and then you can detonate it. Like I've, I threw like a hundred of them on against um, the big guy. I forgot his Agnes. name. Agnes. But uh, I'm, I like his design. He's a different design. And I really – Killer Instinct, I, I, you know, I play Mortal Kombat 2. I mean I'm playing at that as well. Uh, you know, Killer Instinct is, is really – you know, I mean – being that it's a staggered release, it, it what you know the way it is, it really is 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 really a good fighting game, and I like fighting games. I like Mortal Kombat, but Killer Instinct, I really find it like kind of getting it to the same level, if not exceeding it. You know, I'm I'm really just just the character designs, the latest, the the you know, and the, and the, it just seems like it's it's really um, going places, and I think season three is going to be even better. But yeah, right. I'm real. When season three gets announced, they they haven't said anything about it. Yeah, I, I'm hoping it gets announced. I mean, I'm but basically, I'm really impressed with the character. I'm, I can't wait for. I think Aria Aria is coming. She's the Aria, uh, yeah, whatever, yeah. whichever pronunciation you want. Um, about potato, Cinder, potato. use your burnout enders. It's the ones that light their arms and legs on fire. That's where you get your yeah. potential damage, which you're supposed to conf- confirm into, and then use that to do damage. It's a very different way. Of getting a lot yeah. of damage, it's very, it's you know, again, right. it's a com- it's a completely different way to do I fighting like it, game though. stuff. It and is, that's, it is, it's genius, it's perfect. It really it's like, is. People say, oh, it's, it's a boring game. It's like, do you have you played it? And they go, no. Wow. I, it, it really is. It, it really, up. it really is um, coming up in the ranks as far as I'm concerned. People who like want to disregard Killer Instinct, they don't know what they're talking about. This game is really. Uh, it's really well done, and it's getting even better as these characters come. They're all different, like Mike says. They're all they like, like from Agnos to the the Exorcist girl Hasaki. I can't say her name. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> it's, to, uh, it's, 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 it's in her theme. They say Hisako. It's Hisako. Yes. But on. she's like really different too. And it's just it's just really well done. So I'm really digging Killer Instinct, and and I'm playing Mortal Kombat, and I'm still you know I got I played Jason, finished the game with him. Um, but it just kind of feels like Mortal Kombat 9 with better graphics and, you know, uh, nothing really that's, I still like it, but I'm really, you know, interested in Killer Instinct and, and that kind of grasps me on the, on the, the fighting end. Uh, I've been playing also, uh, played, uh, Halo 4 for, uh, I'm trying to finish the game. I never finished it on 360 and you know what? Me, neither did I and I, and I need to. Let me tell you stuff. something. No, I, mean, not, I am not worried at all for 343 if for Halo 5. I mean, this fucking game on Xbox One looks amazing. I am I am I'm watching the game and I'm like I'm like holy cow. Did, I mean, did it look this good on 360? Yes. It yes, looked it really did. good. It looked really I mean, good. I cannot believe how good this looks and and I'm really into the story. I'm I'm up to um where where we're trying to pro- we're, we're we're protecting the reclaimer, uh, we just I finished reclaimer and then I and then I finished the next, you know uh, the um, who's the guy that the die decks after the the um, forgot her name but we're we're the protecting librarian. yeah the librarian and um, you are the reclaimer by the way the chief is the chief is not the reclaimer that has to do with the whole the humans were originally the penultimate race that are created by the forerunners you're you're, you're getting to a guy who knows way too much about Halo War here. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't want right. I don't want to interrupt you, but it's like wow, yeah, he's like finishing your set. Yeah, it's oh, fucking nerd. Yeah, you're fucking nerd. nerd. No one likes you. I just I, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> no one. Likes I, mean, I, I was talking about. <laughs> Look, just I'm sorry, Tim. This is the best part of Hot Tub Time Machine. That was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Funny to see that movie. But oh, I'm so really cool. impressed with the game, though. And, and three, four, three. You know, they get a lot of heat, and you know, rightfully so, with with three, four, three, uh, with uh. Uh, Halo, PC, yeah. yeah, but still, that's, that game, that game really, if it's fixed, is a real amazing value and a really, really good game. It's still selling, even despite all the bullshit, you know, what what they had on their part. Um, uh, I just, I'm up to, I'm, I'm, re- I'm probably gonna finish the game either tonight or tomorrow. Um, and I played all the Halos, and this one is, um, graphically, I- I'm just really. Impressed with it. It's I can't probably, believe this is a 360, 360. Without a doubt, it's one of the best looking games of last generation. 
Oh, absolutely. Definitely. And definitely. It, it's it's you know it's what happens when you get a piece of hardware that people have been working with for eight plus years. You get shit that looks like that. And I mean, I, I said it way back. I mean, I said this like privately to myself back when Halo 4 first came out. It's like, you know, this game looks like it was scaled down graphically. Like they originally created assets for a higher quality thing and then moved it down, um, which why it runs so long on Xbox One in a lot of cases. So, yeah, it it did. Ugh. I'm so excited. I mean, yeah, uh, uh, I really uh, am too. You don't sound like it. Yeah, I'm just oh, no. throw it out there, Mike and Worm. I did see your question. We will talk about gears at the end of this. Yes. But. Yeah, and uh, and I played a little bit of Max. I'm Me almost too, done Mickey. with that. Me too. Curse of Brotherhood. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost yeah. finished. I'm on five five dot two or five dash two. So I, I like that game. That's a pretty good platformer. I'm um, just trying to finish it. I uh, played a little of Grand Theft Auto. I uh, finally popped that in, and I was impressed with the graphics. Ran pretty good. Uh, I just bought Lifeless because I had uh, anybody who is not signed up to the Xbox reward program. Um, it's a good idea too. I mean, I buy a lot of digital games. I, I like every month I have like twenty dollars in there, and I don't even know where it comes from. But it's obviously coming from the reward program. So I bought Lifeless Planet, and I'm, I'm going to try that out. I know Vern just talked about it. Yeah, I'm so. waiting. To, I'm waiting to play that myself. Yeah, just but a chill. I pay it for ten minutes and then, you know, go back to another game that we cannot speak of. <laughs> or we could just talk about how you're going to go and play Witcher nonstop and never play anything else. It's cool. You know what? Cool. I I am going to play the hell out of that though. I, I know that for a fact. When I can pick it up, I agree. All right. <laughs> well, Steve. Steve. What have you been playing, Steve? I I've completed three games this in the last week. Nice. It's been it's been productive. I'm now at forty four for the year and seventy since I finished Sunset Overdrive. Salute. Um so that's a good number. Um so I finished The Walking Dead two, which uh, season two which we discussed earlier, that was that was really good. Um you know, things I won't spoil it, but things get sort of crazy. I was talking to Vern about the ending, so I think I picked the wrong one, but um, wait, I'm wait. Definitely... You know what? Boy or girl, I, uh... who survived? That's all I need to know. No spoilers. Boy or girl, who survived? Go. All right. Yeah. I disagree with your choice, but okay. Yeah, no, that was, I, I made the wrong one. I was like, yeah, and then Vern was telling me the different options, and I was like, what have I done? So before. Just to throw of... it out there, I did pick boy, uh, the girl survived for me. Just me too. Yeah. Out there. Me, me too. We all, we all made terrible, terrible I, mistakes. I, I, no, wait. I, I, I thought, I thought I you went went let the boy did, survive. Uh, me? Yeah. No. No, but, but I left her ass. ass. Oh, yeah, me but too. you left her. Okay. Me too. I stayed with her, but this is as far as we need to go with this conversation. Because I yeah. haven't touched the first Walking Dead game. So. I, hit her I don't think anything crazy. we said, I'm even gone. if you got to the Obviously. very end, it doesn't spoil anything that we just said. So we're gonna leave. Oh it yeah, there. yeah. You, you, you absolutely haven't ruined anything because I'm no, not gonna so play much. it for a while. So. No, but even if you knew everything we just said, it has until you get to that exact moment, like you, you have no idea. All right. Well, I read the spoilers Steve? and I was still like frantic, up in arms, like, what should I do? What should I do? So, Steve, that was one of your three games that you've beaten that you're going to keep over a head. What, what, what are the other ones? Uh, I then finished Assassin's Creed Chronicles China, which I I really, really liked. It's like the, the 2.5D Assassin's Creed game, but it just, I don't know, it just felt like it played really, really well, really liked all the sort of stealth elements. And it's like they actually managed to get like all of the different sort of combat mechanics in there. But it all felt really good and it all flowed nicely and all that you know you could you know sort of go crazy in the levels if you wanted to but if you wanted to stealth it up like it felt quite cool doing it um it's quite long as well so um i, I enjoyed playing through that and i'm i tempted to go back to i don't often feel tempted to go back but and do some levels a bit better and get a few more achievements um then i played flockers which i bought in the christmas sale for like five pounds played the first level and hated it um, but went back to it, and it's, it's really cool. It's like a, it's a 2D, it's a bit like Lemmings, made by Team 17. Um, so you have all the little sheep coming to the level, and then you have to sort of guide them to the end. Um, you can give them like little super superpowers where they can sort of fly and 
got our walls and that sort of thing and put all the boxes down to center in different directions make sure they don't get sort of brutally murdered um it's like 60 six levels or something um but it's, it's actually really fun once i sort of got into it you know the levels are all just sort of designed really well there's lo- sort of lots of ways you can do it um and if you sort of save a certain amount of sheep then you get like three stars and you know they give you a big clap and all that other stuff um so that was so that actually really surprised me about how much i enjoyed that once i finally played it um so those were the three i finished uh, also played started playing Wolfenstein today. I'm not very far into it, but uh, the old blood that is, and that's real good so far. It's just, I mean, it just feels like you know more of what was last year, which is what I wanted. Um, it plays really nice. That's a really good game. So I'm looking forward to that. Playing a bit more of that, and I also played a bit of um, Faster Than Light and Retro City Rampage on my PC. So that's sort of. I love FTL. Such a good game. Yeah, I've had, I actually spent the first half of the podcast playing it until I died. <laughs> and then it was like, do you want to restart? I was like, no, fuck you, I'm going to quit. And I actually got to the last um, oh, man. The last world. And Did like, you get yeah. to the boss or you just get to the last stage? No, I just got okay. sort of at the beginning of the last one and then I just got kind of destroyed. Yeah. So, it's, it was one of the games that really made the roguelike genre come into being. Um, FTL, and for people who don't know, FTL is like a spaceship game where you, you're basically a, you're basically piloting the Enterprise, um, more or less. And you you go through like a star map, and you go upgrade your ship, and you get new crew members, and the crew members can die permanently, and you change the ship so around. It's kind it's, of a Mass Effect ty- type. No, 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 no. Um, you don't get to know the crew members at all. They're just like a little character. But they're all different. Like they, they gain skills. And you get better. What you do. It's a very interesting game. Go check it out. It's on iPad actually. If you don't want to get it on PC for Steam, I don't have iPad. I got Surface. Sorry. I. It's kind of relevant to the conversation. Well, I guess it's, if it's a Surface, I guess if you get Steam on it, you could run it. Maybe yeah. The, what um, is your specs? What's your specs on the Surface? I got the Pro Three. The, you, um, could, you could you could you oh, could run FTL. Yeah. You could run FTL could, on a toaster. He could run it. He could run it. You could run FTL on a toaster. Um, but yeah, I, I I'm I'm with, I'm with I'm with her with you, Steve. It's a great just game to, oh, so good. Um, and about about Chronicle. Um, Ubisoft has been very good at 2D development with Child of Light and um, Valiant Hearts, and Raymond. So. Maybe maybe they should stick to what they're getting reviewed well with. I saw loads of people Sound say right. it was like glitchy and they didn't like the stealth, but and that sort of put me off. But when I played it, I was really I was really surprised. It was only like ten dollars as well. But I just I just thought for what it was, it's like you know I wasn't looking at it as like a big Assassin's Creed game. I was looking at it for what it was, and you can sort of move between the sort of different levels really well. And I just, I just thought it was sort of a really sort of cool side project. So. Yeah, that's that's about it for me this week. Flockers, I, I put a lot of time into to get all the levels done, so that was that was the main one. All right, awesome. Uh, welcome to the chat, Dex twelve twelve P. Show's almost over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, congratulations. <laughs> all right, since we've been asked to talk, we, we talked know. about it earlier, but certain people didn't hear us. I won the chat. I think we all really like the footage of Gears of War. Gears of War looks Absolutely. fucking awesome. Absolutely. Uh, I can't wait to see them release like more games than just the original. Hope more video like leak so we know we'll get a horde mode because that's what I want because I'm addicted to horde mode. I love it. Um, oh, you already know that's coming. I got to have it. I need horde. It needs to happen. I need whores. Oh. Yeah. Probably going to happen if, they, if they're ready. <laughs> The date of that video was ten two twenty six, so they're they're pretty far along. I'm thinking, farther along than I thought. Put it that way. Oh, it's coming out this year. It yeah. has to. Yeah. They want they want to give it some you know people just like how Master Chief collects. They want to give you time to brush up on your gears lore and and uh, be ready for. All right, real to, quick, uh, Vern, check to see what Phil Spencer's saying on Twitter since he's supposedly answering questions. Oh yeah, he did oh, just yeah. replied. To, he replied to one of mine actually. All right, yeah, Steve. Yeah, I saw that one. Let's see. Superstar. Let's see. Steve can tell us all about. Uh, well, I just I saw him tweeting, and oh, it's not actually okay. Uh, so I just said to him that it was nice to see that they're hyping up Gamescom 
you know, lots of announcements being so flat, it seems. And he said, um, I was looking at the lineups. Our Gamescom has a lot of fresh content. That's not A3 with new things to share. Will be fun. So that was so that was good. Um, and he's just uh, let's see. He's you know sort of reiterated again that they will have new IP at E3. And one of them, uh, someone asked him to buy Silent Hill because he's a clever guy. And he said, I'm not sure it's my cleverness that sellers of IP are looking for, which is a nice very sort of fill answer. Um, well, what does that mean? Well, I, I, the guy was suggesting that he's he's clever, whereas he's suggesting that they probably just want money for it. I don't know. It's just a bit of a joke. Um, I think he's basically saying, I'm not going to buy Silent Hill. Good. Um, and then, you know, someone asked him about some stuff. He said he was playing Lifeless Planet. Um, he thought it was, you know, very moody, good writing. Um, that sort of thing. He talked about uh, having sort of new people on stage this year at the conference. Because um, I think in compared to recent years, they really sort of whittled it down a lot compared to to what it was before. So that's good. Um, someone asked him his most anticipated game of 2015, which he said was probably unfair for him, but he'll probably play four as a sixth the most. And he's curious about Battlefront as well. Um, and let's see. Yeah, someone just said that they liked Lifeless Planet. Um, yeah, he's been playing that. I've seen that. And so, you know, someone asked me he's looking forward to Mass Effect, and he said that he worked on the first one, which is quite interesting. Yeah, back when so, it was an Xbox exclusive. Back in 2007. Ruined, before they that's ruined still, it. That's still a big mistake, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, don't, I don't think it, it wasn't Bioware's was choice, or Microsoft's yeah. choice, I should say. You know, they got yeah. purchased by EA. So. Well, I think that the. The Bioware acquisition was engineered so that Microsoft couldn't buy them whilst EA were waiting for John Riccitello to be their CEO. But that's a whole different topic for another day. <laughs> um, <laughs> Illuminati. <laughs> yeah. So, And then someone asked him if he was excited for House of Wolves. And Phil Spencer said 34 awaits, which I know we're over our allotted destiny time. So <laughs> yep, you got 10 seconds to talk all the fucking destiny you want. He, he's always fucking playing destiny and he's, he always, yeah, he's, on a lot. And yeah. he's always talking about how much he sort of likes bungees. So he's, he's burying them up for another exclusive. Alright, destiny talk over. Let's move on. He loves destiny though. Huh? No, I, we don't talk about that game. Alright, <laughs> let's, let's, let's move on. You realize next week we're going to talk about that game. Yeah, for about Two minutes. Eh, well, I'm going to keep talking. I got a mute button. You're good. I got chat. Well, you could talk and chat all you want. Well, I, I probably won't be here. I'll probably just be listening. You know, you could go out in the you know, woods unless and talk you guys have me back, too, but, uh, but, you know, that just, doesn't mean I'm going to care. All right. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't set much else exciting. Yeah, that. just watch his feed though. He usually drops something. He when he gets in these modes where he just he'll answer questions for twenty minutes straight, and then he'll just like fly off. But yeah. it's pretty, well, it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like fifty million ads and yeah, favorites and everything else. And, and telling people to tell, and and Mike Worry, you're telling him to screw off or something. You know, he I gets just want to see Phil go. A, hey, what shirt should I wear next? I think that'd be. A good cover way of saying what should I buy. He, he's pretty. Uh, he's pretty clever. I, I do have to admit, Phil's a really cool guy. He is. Yeah. He's, he's just a cool he's, dude. He's got that balance between being a smart businessman and actually understanding what games are about. And I know that from like Don Matrick's background at EA and stuff. He, he was a douchebag. He was a douchebag, straight up. If, wow. if you talk to anybody that's worked for him. He was an absentee landlord, and he was a prick. Who was that? <laughs> My job. Don Patrick. Oh, yeah. He was, you could tell he was a dick. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but he had some good things about him, too, about what the dickiness. You know, I've, I've, I've went over that a couple of times. I think Eric would, would talk about it, too. Um, but, yeah, he definitely you could tell he's a dick. Oh, all right, he's all right, we're not bad. we're not gonna slander the man's name. Oh, oh shut up, shut up. He's a dick. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm the host. Shut up. Can, he's can, a dick. I can do this. This it's my my. Uh, so you say it's ours. Shut up. He's a dick. Look, I, I'm telling you, 
I, I, I can call this one. We're not going to call Don Matrick an asshole. No uh, more. Tim Dog's calling him an asshole, but I Th thought he did a fine good. That's on the, I the thought, Tim I Dog thought, Twitter. Okay, well, I'm part of the show. Um, Tim Dog says I like Don Matrick up to the point till he saw the waves of DRM. Did and, you not shake your hand? No. But he saw the, the waves of DRM and all the problems with Adam Worth. And, he, you know, we're not going to go too farther into it, but he really screwed up when he announced uh, No, I DRM. agree, but I just don't want to take it Ooh. versus name. Phil Spencer just responded to one of your... Of course uh, he did. Yeah. You asked about the what he thought about the preview program and how it's coming along. And he said, it's very important to our learning. That will become more clear at E3. And in Whoa. fall, with some new things you'll see hit previews. So E3, we're getting some new preview stuff. Maybe some stuff about Windows 10. Yeah. So. But Windows he's been saying that for a couple yeah, weeks now, though. Yeah. I, th saying, I think they're going to you know, have, a, not to cut you off, I think they're going to have a, a, a week May update, but it's going to be big next month. I, yeah, it I should, think that, as it should. The big stuff will be in the fall. I think we'll we'll get you know that we'll get a bone thrown to us before that. But I think most of it will be in the holiday. Yeah, I think we'll get a taste of what it's going to look like maybe at E3, but we won't see that until the fall. You know. But yeah. really, I mean, what what other features do we really need? I mean, well, aside from background, background music, right? But... Patch notes. Patch notes, yeah. No, patch that's, notes are that's nice, easy. but that's not maybe the, themes. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest that's thing. Like no, that's, themes. That's Game my effects. biggest thing, Dustin. You update my game, I want to know what you've updated. Just wait for stability to say on it, and then you'll be happy, right? Okay, I would probably rage by that. And... It's just a stability update. That's why they don't do it, because PSN does it, and it just says stability. You'll be begging for Don Matrick to reclaim the throne. Yeah. Uh, we love Don. I, I thought we are not supposed to talk about uh, it. Okay. We have Don. to love Don. The Don? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don just got hey, Don just what? got Don just got fired from McDonald's. Uh, that's the last thing. <laughs> hey, I, I, I mean, I'm just a guest, but I can say an asshole. He shined me on, so whatever. He was he wasn't uh, whatever. I don't... Look, yeah. I, I'm just you know I try to be nice even with people well, I don't like. Well, but you know if it's my opinion, so you don't you don't speak for for me. So that's you know I, everyone who knows who I am knows I'm going to be opinionated. So yeah. Well, I think everybody is. So I'm not speaking know. for on the behalf of the show. I'm just speaking on myself, you know. No, no, no. Look, I understand where you're coming from, Tim. What I was saying is, uh, as a podcast, I don't like to drag people's names in the dirt, even when they deserve it. No, I understand, it. but he deserved it. It's, uh, he's the past. He's it's not, he's gone and done with. It's a part of the past. Uh, I have a little. I was a little annoyed with him over that. O overall, there was good parts of Don Matrick. Um and I will give him credit where he did. He definitely had Xbox winning at one time, which, you know, Phil hasn't had and may probably won't ever get to that point. But um, uh. he just, well, who knows? You got to see how it breaks. But, you know, Maybe next year. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I just think that he just kind of just didn't really have a, a, a I, I see the difference between the people now running Xbox and when he was. And there's just such, there's so much more interaction. The and open, exactly, the open fluidity towards, you know, the, the fans. You know, engaging the fans is way, I mean, 100%. And that's what we need different. as video gamers. I no, mean, I, you, I understand where you're coming from, but like the preview program has been pretty much their biggest engagement with fans. And that wasn't set up just because Phil took over like two days later. They were like, let's do a preview program where everybody gets updates. No, well, that well, was you remember, when, Phil, when Phil first started. That was the biggest talking point was to be more engaged with the fans because no, no, I agree. Yeah, because I mean, I don't want to like I said keep, continue to step on the dude, but it was just like you're gonna take shit and you're gonna like it and that's it. Yeah. Instead Which, of getting you know people's opinions and their input, it was just like, well, if you don't like it, you go back to 360, and people hated that. I'm sorry. Well, let me give you an example of Phil Spencer. I wrote to him. Biggest, I just wrote to him in a DM. I'm talking to him. I would just share this, but this is, you know, nothing regarding the thing. But this is the type of guy he is, and this is the type of guy that that that's an executive that just you just don't have this stuff happen where you can actually talk to an executive like a normal person. And that's what's right. special about Phil. All right, Xbox biggest issue has been perception. The perceptions that you have changed. Really up, bet, beat, enjoy your day, Phil. Then he writes, thanks. I get too much credit. Team does the work. I'm a face. 
you are part of perception as well. You do a lot, thanks. And then I just said thank you, whatever, and we went on. But that type of stuff is 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 why Phil Spencer is who he is. He's one yep. of us. And yep. and that's a great thing to have. And you know, I'm not not shitting on Don Matcher, but that, that type of mentality is over with. That's the type of guy that will look wouldn't look you straight in the face on the street. Phil's the type of guy that'll buy you a drink. And and, and, and that's what I'm saying. I've I've seen Don Matrick in person, walked up to him like, hey, and he completely shined me on. I was like, well, Fuck you too, then. You know what I mean? So that's, I got news to you. That's the way most executives are. You know, it's the big difference. You know right? what? You know Where? what? Not anybody else. I'm mean, not saying everybody 100, percent but nine times out of ten, when it comes to Xbox, you know, executives or or employees have been gracious, excellent, engaging, nice, and it was just like, oh, oh, all right. So I mean, not everybody. Everybody has bad days. Everybody has an attitude. But when you're in a fan, you know, engagement orientated situation, and you just sign somebody on, it's like, oh, all right. Well, I'm basically I'm paying your salary, bro. When I'm you know buying Xboxes and games and all that, and you can't even just kind of give me a nod. Be a person, yeah. Okay. Right. It's it's the it's the it's because Phil came from the Microsoft Game Studio side. He didn't come from another division. Right, and and that's that's what we're seeing with more companies is that we're having people that were developers on games and developers on consoles getting the leadership roles there. So we we they understand what we as consumers want more than business people say that we that they know what we want. They don't, don't. get me wrong, but Phil's a gamer. Phil is a gamer, and, and, and you know, that's that's like the, point the whole make. frame rate, you know, 1080p stuff. It, it's a big deal to him. And that's, the, that's I the, know people in in meetings and stuff. And he's like, "Why can't we do this? What what's going on? Why can't we achieve this? Or what's you know what's lacking? What can we do to further our gameplays? And right. what 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 more can you ask for?" And that's the point I'm making is that Phil comes from a gamer perspective versus Magic, which really didn't. Right. Um, at least Let's he didn't get the, he didn't give up the perception of that. But Phil always has, and Phil always will. And you know, Microsoft will hopefully re- realize the success and always continue that line of succession. You know, part of me hopes that one day Adam Eisgreen is in Phil Spencer's position because that, that dude is just incredible, right? He, he has spent his life developing games, basically. Um, so, that's... Last three, I, I, I met Phil. I had the, you know, the uh, opportunity to meet Phil. And it was right after, obviously, when he got came ahead of Xbox and I went up and you know because everybody was excited you know in the air everything seemed new and I went up and I said hey congratulations man you're you're like the people's champ and you know what he said he looked at us now man it's a, it's a team it's a team effort yeah. and it you know he gave like everybody else kudos he didn't just say yeah you're right I'm, it's on it's me he was like no, it's it's <laughs> Xbox it's a team it's community what I mean what more do you want well, I mean, sometimes I have my complaints about him where he's he kind of lets, like, get stepped on and, you know, kind of a little, you know, I mean, I'm just a competitive person. Well, he's person. too gracious, though, because he, he won't jab back. And he's always, you know, congratulating well, Sony which, and stuff like that, which is a, a class act. Yes. But sometimes you want him to say, you know what, fuck the competitor. This is Xbox. Xbox, that's right. All right. Does anybody else got anything to talk about before we end the show? Uh, nope. you're, uh, by the way, I love your uh, custom Hulk. Um, and uh, Dustin, you are actually very popular with the stuff that you create. So you were, I think so. I th- yeah, you were complaining in one of our chats, and I wanted to kill you because you're saying that. Uh, oh, well, let me see what you were saying. I don't get enough retweets. That's oh all I'm my saying. god! Everyone loves your retweets. You got the Captain America. Uh, you get more retweets than me, so I don't want to hear it. I don't get any. Yeah, of these I get all my retweets from people. You got that Captain America. Yeah, all, all the all the big executives are retweeting you. Know, they say, "Oh, well, look at this. Oh, uh, you know, this and that." Yeah, so, they, they're digging it. They're digging it, Dustin. You're. Uh, so I don't want to hear that that talk ar- around the office. You you, you uh you know the Xbox campus. You, you're you're not, known. Everyone knows Xbox uncut. <laughs> <laughs> they know the hype train. They know that Greenberg is coming. E three is coming. Winter is coming, people. Winter is coming. Reckoning. Late June is coming. <laughs> yeah, that's true. 
It's an exciting time to be a gamer. Uh, it is. It's like video it's game Christmas, time. man. It's, it's yeah, Christmas. and it really is video game Christmas. Well, we it saw... isn't because we don't get anything for free. It we... makes me feel like <laughs> we just and, get information. And we are yeah, so... but it's like opening presents, you know. And we are yeah, so is. insatiable that we live that in hasn't that. Has meat already? <laughs> what? I'm, I'm great... like that, you know, that cartoon. Take my money. I really hope, and and this goes is just for the industry with with everything. I really hope gaming really takes that next step because you know the the fans, all of us here, and and just the community over, even on the Sony side, and the, and the, we are so passionate. We love everything. We live each day for the the, the most minuscule piece of, of 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 news is like big news. So I really I really gotta say I um, hope to see three really um, puts us more in the limelight. Sleep. And I mean. Uh... <laughs> you know, I got a question for you guys. Going, you know, going back to the whole Sony thing. Are they as engaging with their community as Xbox is? They're trying. To I, I they're don't know. Not. Some of them are. No, but the thing is, is they don't have a major. They don't have a major Nelson, which they badly need. Uh, and then, like, you're not going to talk to Ken in the same light as you talk. Like Phil Spencer, Aaron Greenberg are very vocal on Twitter. You don't see it right, like that right. on the other side of the pond. Well, and that's what I was wondering. How how are they engaging to their fan base? Because you see, like honestly, to me, like Truth Insider is like their mascot. Yeah. If yeah. I hear anything, it's from that dude, and he's you know tweeting, but like, hard cunts and this and that. It's hard and to say they need to. A lot of stuff makes me laugh. I just you know I don't even you know it, it's funny. No, but it's it hard to say they need to because they're selling so many consoles. But I think it would help their image yeah, to actually well. have a major Nelson. I agree. I agree. Wasn't it well, Jack think... Butler? Wasn't he basically like he was an actor though? Yeah, he didn't. He didn't actually do anything close to what Major it, does. Then he did a Nintendo commercial. Yeah, for all <laughs> the shit, for, for all the shit Microsoft gets, they really, they do a lot of work. You know, they they yeah. are very you know I- involved. They have a good PR department. Agreed. I think for for Sony, I think their blog. You know, they are very active at talking to people on their blog. That's they don't funnel through Twitter so much, you know, they have the EU and the, the US blogs, and as I said, you know, they are very popular and they have a lot of people that respond on there, and I think they also do a, a bit better job of, of sort of talking about their games, like all the games that come into the platform in one place, yeah. and keeping people sort of up to date with that, so there is interaction, I just think is a bit different to how Xbox does it, I mean, Adam Boys, you know, he does a lot of, I think he does a lot of sort of tweeting, and, you know, I mean, he's on sort of NeoGAF and other message forums, I think they, they both do similar things no but you got places you got like guys that do it and then sony will announce all their indies but like microsoft if you go to reddit xbox support is on reddit at microsoft they help people yeah if you go on twitter you have executives that actively talk if you go like microsoft when it comes to a pr side when it's like the top talking down to the, the gamers themselves they're a lot more active they just don't know and, how to, and to me, that promote builds... their indie games. Yeah, like they, if they <laughs> right. And they could easily do it by just fucking giving, like, okay, we didn't really talk about E3 all that much, even though we had an article about it. It's going to be an hour and a half long, even though we pleaded multiple times, make it two hours, show off your indie, show off everything else that you kind of rush by. Like, make it an extra half hour long. Well, last year they did they did put that big segment for, you know, remember when they revealed Cuphead and all that, and Ori? No, but they put it, it was still a real, a though. Yeah. But but the reason why they stick to an hour and a half is because they went on TV, and it's mandated uh-huh. to them if they want to do that, that it, yeah. it can only be an hour and a half, otherwise it can't be on TV. But they've got, I mean, the thing is, they talked about those other one-hour shows, and they have said they talked about announcements in there, which I assume there'll be indie stuff and that so. sort of thing. Um. And it's like, you know, I understand why people would want them to go longer, but as I said, they, they have their... They might and... drag on a little bit. I mean, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Steve. Um, but you look at the, the video game awards that just happened. It seemed to me that just drug on a little bit too That's long. That's a terrible show. Yeah. No, it wasn't that bad. It was a terrible I, it, show. It, it, it could have been a lot better. It was bad. It was bad. I don't know how the fuck these people... They were mix. using mics on stage, like handheld Horrible. mics. And they kept you know, on Jeff the sound Kiley, kept on going you know, in and out. I give him credit because you know he's like he put his own money, yeah. But right. it was a really poorly produced piece of shit because but, you can tell they didn't have any major rehearsal time. But the thing is, is that I think last year was a proof of concept that they could do something that 
the fans wanted and that was viable. And I think that they, was, they did that. I mean, they when threw Jeff it together Keely, too quickly, though. But when well, when Jeff Keighley was on the um, uh, the 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 Inner Circle podcast, you know, he said that he was talking to Phil Spencer about having an Xbox presence this year, and that basically the reason why they weren't there last year was just because they had nothing to show. Right. And because because you know you look at the three games Sony showed until dawn, Bloodborne, and the Order were all. I mean, two of them were February, March, and until dawn was supposed to be sort of summertime. Whereas Microsoft didn't. You know, I don't think they were ever going to stand up, show State of Decay, or in Serene Ride. Right. But I think that you know last year was a proof of concept that it worked. The fans liked it. There was an audience for it. And I think that this this year, you know, because last year it was announced late and it was sort of a bit hastily thrown together, whereas this year, you know, they would have had an entire year to do it and get it right. And and I think it, it will be a lot better this year. And I, I believe in Jeff. I like Jeff Keighley a lot. Yeah, no, I, I give him a lot of so, props and a lot of respect, you know, because he's, I mean. It's a hard worker. No, no, he definitely is. And he keeps his, you know, eye, eye on the, the prize. And I hope this year's show is a little bit better. It's beside. It's behind the scenes stuff is good too. Like the last days stuff he does, you know. Right. Yeah. Or the final E3, days. E3. I'm always called. looking forward to his stuff. You know, when he's always reporting on E3. He's, I, I watch he's a pretty fair journalist too. He does. He's good on like camera too. Yeah, he doesn't yeah, seem yeah. like he's pulling for. You know, there's a lot of journalists out there right now that are kind of slimy, but he's 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 nice. I like I like him. Yeah. Well, the thing about Jeff is, you know, he's a gamer and he loves all the camps. You know, last year he did a, a podcast with Major Nelson just before E3 because he'd gone in there to talk to them about their planning and stuff. And, and he, you know, he's just sort of popped on and, you know, I mean, and he, you know, he's close to Reggie and some of the Nintendo guys and Sony as well. He just, he just literally loves video games. And that's, and that's it. I don't think, you know, he, he doesn't really put his opinion across too much. No, but this is where yeah, I no. disagree with you. Like he, to me is one of the few people in the industry I can honestly say he's a, a video game journalist. Yes. Mm-hmm. He's right. very Agreed. professional. He doesn't come off with any slant. He's very happy with the industry he's in, it seems. Mm-hmm. And he loves it, but he's a journalist. He's not a yeah. he's not a commentator. He's not a sensationalist. A pundit. He's not a pundit. Right. He, he he does what he does, <laughs> he does it really good. Yeah, it's true. I, I give him lots of props. And isn't he, is, industry, isn't he the Mountain Dew guy? Isn't he the Mountain Dew guy? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I still don't know what the hell happened. What is, can somebody tell me what that's about? I still don't know after all these yeah, years. Yeah, that's news to me. What, what happened? The Mountain Dew and Doritos. Does anybody <laughs> know what the big jo- joke is about that? Who can explain that? Well, it, wasn't it to do with, was it one of the Halo games? It was Halo 4. Yeah, uh, Michael, do you know it, it? it's it's something that got blown up. Mike, into Mike something. knows it's Halo Red. He's like, I got it. when it he got, was doing the interviews on IGN. That got, yeah, that got blown up into way more than it ever should have been. Uh, it, uh, it, yeah. it, it's 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 fucking water off a camel's back. It was just when he was doing the interviews, he had giant like Mountain Dew posters Hats. in the background and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he had, and he had you know cans of the gamer fuel, and it, so it, it, it was like just that Wayne's World when he was like yeah, it, 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 it was a, it was a lot like <laughs> Wayne's World, yes, yes, <laughs> and that was the running joke about it, you know. So people start calling him the what, the Dorito Pope. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Three hey, you know what? You gotta pay the bills. I don't care. <laughs> I yeah. just have mad it's, it's respect funny. for the man. Yep, I do too. I don't think it was his decision. I think it was an IGN thing more than anything, and he just kind of took the fall for it. So, little yellow. Yeah, but he's an old, <laughs> old, so old school journalist, is what I think that is the word for him. Yeah, he's good. You don't see it. Well, you, never well, you see can it. see. You can tell he cares about his relationships with developers and with the publishers and executives. He's Nobody not cares about to... his relationship with the audience, though. And that too, that too. But it, I don't know. Some some people, you look at someone like Jim Sterling, who I think is entertaining. But what he'll do is he'll go on Gaff and he'll find out whatever the majority is is complaining about or or bitching about, you know. And then he'll take that stance and he'll make a Jimquisition. You know, and then everyone's like, oh, my God, Jim Sterling's so amazing. And that's just because he's going with the majority. He's not making any, you know, of his own opinions. And he's just picking the topics that oh, are going to get pop, the huh? get the majority, you know, of the fanboys going, you know, get them all riled up. 
Um, and I, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. You know. Why not go so. against the grain and you know, and not just clickbait? You know, why, why you got to be a sheep? Yeah, it feels uh, like that sometimes. Because uh, he has no real opinions and he's just a pile of shit. No one should give a fuck about him. He's funny though. I will no, give him. not. I will give him that. He can be funny, and we but no, he goes a little over. People. He goes a little overboard <laughs> with the, uh, the with the sex too. jokes sometimes. He goes way too far with just trying to be. Disgusting. He's also a goddamn hypocrite. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I think we've the show's run its course, people. It has. It's a great but we show. like Jeff Keeley. Yes. Thank you so much. It's a prick. Southbound for coming on. Oh, thank you guys for having me. This was uh, this is awesome. You guys are. the the best and uh hopefully you can do it again yeah yep hopefully yeah. one of those two will make it out to e3 next year and hopefully you'll never talk about dustin again on the show but i, I can't make any promises. before we end the show i just have to know one thing how are you doing Vern? oh man i am so good it's like the third time you've asked me and if you make me feel so special so maria's giving you a blowjob so in the nice. meantime i guess Wow, too far, man. Too far. <laughs> too far. I guess we have run its course. Huh? All right. Yes. Well, we definitely ran its course. We now. ran the course. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thanks for coming on the live stream. Thanks for chatting yeah. with us. Please subscribe. Uh, follow us. You know, all those social media things. Rate us on iTunes. We need more of those. That's right, Trouble. You, you speak it. You but, write uh, it. We'll, Justice. We'll, we'll catch y'all later. Peace out, everybody. Bye-bye. Right, later. Bye. See ya. Yeah.